What is good, chat? Welcome to another show. First of all, how are we doing today? Shout out to you guys. It is good to be back. Listen, we about to break down some hypocrisy here, folks. Yeah, that's right. We starting out and we going in right now, okay? Because listen, I am absolutely sick and tired of the hypocrisy that I'm seeing in these YouTube streets. And what's even worse, a lot of people are not calling this shit out, okay? So, since we got we to have people not call out the clear hypocrisy a bunch of these fools are per perpetuating out there, all right? We have to do that, okay? And what I'm talking about is the whole Ruby Rose situation. Now, I'm not talking about particularly just that, but we're talking about Fresh and Fit's response to it, particularly Myron's response to it, and how he turned the whole situation, which had to do with a simp simping for an OnlyFans model, a tale as old as uh, the internet at this point, right? Uh, listen, it turns out he's going to use that as some kind of excuse to lecture you men out there on why you should buy his book, Women Deserve Less, because a lot of the things or tenets he talks about in his book apparently is what we're witnessing with the likes of Ruby Rose and all these men that get duped and... Uh, they just get mistreated by these OnlyFans women, these evil women. Oh, they got no talent. Yeah, that's right. They got no talent. All, all, all they do is just, just show they boobies and body parts and all these men just flood them with money. But what about us? We got to work for this shit. Right, it's always funny when stuff like this breaks out. They somehow compare themselves to women. I, I, it never makes any sense to me. Right, the manosphere is built on highlighting the differences, and, and I mean they they specifically highlight differences between men and women. All right, and the, the advantages in their favor, they use that to lord over them. Right, and, and when it comes down to the privilege on the other side, then they highlight our differences and wonder why life is so unfair. So on one hand, men are strong, men are big, smart, and, you know, tough, and they're, they're the backbone of society, and we got to do all this stuff, right? All right, that, that's why we got to be the leaders. We got to be, we, we got to be on top. Men has to have all the rights. You know what? You go to Pearl's channel, women can't vote, right? So you got all these people on one hand because of the physicalities of men. And then when it comes to the physicalities of women and how they can use that to get around the world, a.e. the OnlyFans and selling ads on uh, promoting themselves and being used for advertisement because, you know, sex sells. I mean, Fresh and Fit would know a whole lot of things about that. Now, would they? But when it comes to a woman using her assets, uh, the voluptuous they are, the better, right? To go ahead and gain money through OnlyFans, all of a sudden, that's a problem. Now we got to talk about how unfair the world is because men can't just drop their draws and have women flock flock their channels with money, right? And they, they wish they can do that, but they can't. So now, now we gotta highlight the differences and how unfair it is. And men, this is why we're suffering. It's like, yo, I, are you forgetting on the other side of that paywall on the OnlyFans or webcam studio? It's men, <laughs> men, <laughs> there are men who are paying for this shit, all right? Now, okay, before I get too far in, because y'all, listen, y'all know I like to, I, I can't help it, I can't help it, okay? I, I gotta, I, I gotta speak my mind, I mean, this, I mean, this stuff frustrates the crap out of me, all right? So, we gotta tie it to Ruby Rose, because, matter of fact, it's not just Ruby Rose, it seems like the Red Pillars have been seeming as though they have been on a streak of wins lately, because you got the Ruby Rose situation that justifies their talking point the destiny divorce situation that justifies their talking point so a lot of these guys are running around right now and you know holding the w's in the air right let me <laughs> these incels they gotta do it they have to do it because listen these they've been taking l's after l's after l's all year so i mean if one prediction uh, that they have had somehow seems to come true they're gonna jump around with the w's yeah see we were right about destiny <laughs> oh oh look look look, look at these only fan girls and how they treat these men oh we were right about that right so you see right now on the internet what we're seeing is a bunch of people jumping around and celebrating their uh i guess minor wins and uh the main one we're gonna focus on today's episode is the ruby rose situation because i found myron's response to this absolutely ridiculous and for those of you guys who don't know so ruby rose is an only fans model uh i think she also does other things as well i think she sings and does music and all that all right so she has a fan and this fan is a what you would call a super fan 
uh, you know what? A super, super stalker may kill your ass fan. That, that we're gonna put him in that category, okay? Because um, the whole story was essentially this guy, uh, I guess, fell in love. And, and, and you couldn't turn the bug off. I mean, he was just donating, 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 talking about I would drop 60K on you. But he got a tattoo of her on his body, bro. And when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, listen, Ruby Rose, you need to go get yourself some help. <laughs> like, is there, These people are going to come out and kill you, okay? And that's the inherent danger with this kind of stuff, right? I mean, you don't know who's on the other side of the screen beating their meat off to you. You don't know. They could be they could be a, a nerd uh, and just want to go in there and get their fun and leave, and they could be a whole cycle like this bloke over here that decides to try to take it a step further. So essentially, what ended up happening is the guy kept pressing her because he thought they had something special. I mean, this is in pure, this is typical incel psychology, okay? You know, you, you, you find a girl on OnlyFans, and you know, you message her. She maybe pays you a little bit of attention because you're giving her a little bit of money, and all of a sudden, you you feel like you're in love, right? Because, oh my gosh, she's treating you some, some type of way. So you are inclined to spend more money. See, listen, again, we see this happen all the time, okay? But when it starts getting to that level where you're meeting your fans or your fans are getting overly possessive, this is what we're, we're talking about. And Ruby Rose, it, it seems like the whole message is back and forth because, okay, I got to break this down. There are two sides of thinking to this, all right? We're going to look at the red pill side in just a second and how they're viewing this. It's almost like they're they're exclusively blaming Ruby Rose for the fact that she got an OnlyFans and, you know, she led this guy on, apparently, which is like, how? It's not... It's only fans. You don't have to care about you at the end of the day, bro. Like, what's wrong with y'all? That's the red pill angle right now. They're they're looking at it as okay. Well, it's Ruby Rose. Okay, she's thirst trapping these guys on OnlyFans, and now all these guys who are just paying her these money, she's just gonna turn around and humiliate them like this. And it's like, okay, I see how you guys can come to that conclusion, but let me offer a different side of things. Okay, on, on one hand. For her, she sees OnlyFans as just, you know, a, a business account for her. She's making money. Otherwise, why would she invest in that, right? So she's the way she's making money in that. And on top of that, essentially, you listen, listen, she can keep stringing boys like you along for a very long time. I mean, you think she's getting a couple hundred dollars from you. She's not getting a couple hundred dollars from somebody else. I, I mean, she can string all y'all up. It's just the easy way to keep a hook. The problem is... She understands for every one of be are these people that are paying normally just a normal subscription, they're they're you guys, like the, the guy that went overboard, like the super fan, the super super duper fan that might kill your ass later, dude. All right, he, he, they're those type of guys, and essentially what end up happening is this guy was like sending her messages like hey i love you like i'll give i'll, I'll give my life for you i'll do anything for you uh, i mean just basically just just simping off the wahoo right and i wouldn't even call this simping this guy was pretty much trying to love bomb her over the the, the internet that, that's essentially why i see it right because think about it if you had an abuser and there are women out there that have dealt with this by the way there are abusers who would, would, would shower them with love and if you're the kind of woman who have never been loved by your father or you've never been shown love by men out there it's easy for you to fall victim to that nonsense so he's playing that cheap oh let's go ahead and love bomb him trick and spend money on him and act like i just want to be there for him and care for him like i don't have anything then uh ulterior motive in return that i want to go ahead and take care of right so that's what he was he was doing right he started uh, uh sending her all these messages and you know being real cutesy and lovey and like their art and relationship first of all dude is way out of his steps because if he was dealing in any some any sort of reality at all he would realize that um you are reaching out to her on OnlyFans. Motherfucker, this ain't Tinder. This ain't Bumble. It's OnlyFans. It means it's only fans, not only lovers or only bros. Like, nigga, you a fan. <laughs> on what planet did you think you were going to make it anywhere else if you didn't keep paying? So you already know about him thinking that his starting premise was just, you know, her loving him for him just being there and her OnlyFans. He was already, he's already too far gone. So when she wasn't reciprocating the, the, the messages, essentially, you know, not saying I love you too, or you know, being all cutesy. She basically just left him on red because, again, he's a fan. <laughs> it's like, bro, <bruh. laughs> that's just what you are. You, you pay to see me nude or whatever the fuck I do on OnlyFans. I don't owe you anything else. Like, you already got what you paid for. Like, well, what more do you want? And he wanted more. So he's sending her messages, and eventually he gets frustrated to the point where now the mask is off. 
right? And he's getting aggressive. How dare you? And the aggressive entitlement starts to come out in the messages, right? Now, if you think she wasn't going to expose you before, because I'm going to tell you this, there are a bunch of other simps that have the exact same mode of texting her. You ain't so special, bro. But the moment you start getting aggressive, now it's time to expose your ass. And that's essentially what she did. So she, she's basically leading him on. He got the tattoos, which all this stuff is creepy. You, you got a tattoo of a woman that you never met. Like, like, are you, are you, are you in reality at all? Like, you, you sound like you're on the verge of losing it, bro. Somebody go ahead and find him a space with nice soft walls and a straight jacket, because that's where he belongs. Like, he, he don't know her. So at this point, she basically exposed them because this is some weirdo shit. And I think, realistically, she did it for a couple different reasons, right? She did it for a couple reasons, different reasons. And if you're a woman doing this shit like this, you, you kind of have to think about this. One, it's your safety, right? <laughs> you got to think about that because if something happens to you and you will never know because it's happened to other people, okay? Uh, what's that What's that, What's that? that woman's name? Um, She was named after a car. What was it a Buick? Mercedes, 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 ah, uh, it's a Merce Mercedes something. Y'all remember, you know that lady, right? Uh, Mercedes, Mercedes Moore, Mercedes Moore, okay? She basically was murked by an alleged OnlyFans a fan, super duper fan that might kill your ass later type of dude. That's the kind of crowd you're attracting, okay? So she's exposing a lot of these text messages on Twitter and whatever space she's, uh, or Instagram, or whatever medium she's using, right? And is actually it, it put him on blast like yo you're you're a whole ass weirdo trying to propose or like tell somebody you love them you're gonna spend your every life he even offered her like bitcoin like up, up worth up to like five hundred thousand dollars or some shit right dude was I mean, it was just too much like you, this is someone who is clearly unstable so i i see what she did as just exposing his ass that's what it is like you that's the kind of dude that the moment you fuck up he might kill you especially when he dropped the my uh the mask and started getting pissed because she she wasn't responding to him let, let that sink in if he can just drop the facade that quick over her not responding to him what do you think a guy like that is gonna do when he meets up with her let's just say if he does Right, in which he actually did at some point, right? But let's just say <laughs> they continued to meet up, right? What's to say he didn't like the way you responded, you know, to his I one of his little I love yous, or he didn't like how you you know reciprocated to his you know intentions, right? He could snap. You don't know what losers like that can do. Okay, and I say losers for a reason because any man is willing to drop 60k on a OnlyFans account, you're crazy. But here is where we talk about the hypocritical part, all right? This is where a fresh and fit comes in. And now everybody in the red pill, they're all reacting to this, and I think it's hypocritical. <laughs> I just think it's so hypocritical because these are the same people, especially fresh and fit, that are the biggest podcast to OnlyFans platform entity that exists right now. What do I mean by that? These bozos, realistically, their whole platform and everyone that follows them they end up subscribing to the only fan girls that are on the show <laughs> how do you not see this like how do you not see this so he's going on this crazy rant talking about how oh, women deserve less and you know, she's got no talent just this ghetto man bro bro what he said about ruby rose i know not only he hates women we already proved that <laughs> for other reasons right but i know he hates black women for sure and just now there's no doubt in my mind just for the way she typed you you're going crazy on her like that that's wild but uh, going back to the main point uh your audience base are only fan supporters okay they are only fan subscribers this guy y'all are sitting here talking about oh my god you know she just she just oh she just misused him after he gave her so much money and support how could she do this do you know why because they see themselves in him. That's what I'm saying. They see themselves in him. So when you hear the red pill perspective here, as we're about to play it, okay? And you see a lot of these guys getting all heated. You got to understand, they're talking about themselves. <laughs> Like, this is crazy, right? Like, I, I just, I was so surprised. Like, they, they're so invested in this. And it's just like, wow. For a bunch of people who sit there, they'll come at, first, first of chat, they'll come at a channel like ours, right? They'll come at a channel like ours, criticizing them and say, oh, how, 
how dare you just talk about men all day? That, that's her. Listen, we're out here living our lives, and you talk about us all day. Then you flip to the channel. Ruby Rose is a bitch. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> all right. I, t I, t I guess you guys are way better than me. It's just talking about bitches all day. It's like, dude, how pathetic. Okay, so here's the thing. They see themselves in this guy over here. That's why there's an overwhelming amount of sympathy going on right now uh, for the OnlyFans loser to decide to do this shit. And I just find it weird. And you see a mass amount of people who are taking that side too. Uh, if you're looking for that kind of perspective over here, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just not going to – I think these guys are clown. If you're dumb enough, okay, because Andrew Tate was in the same business too, and that's why he's getting his ass indicted. He duped a bunch of men. There was a young man that gave up his mama's house, his grandmama's house after she died to an OnlyFans woman. It wasn't even OnlyFans. It was a webcam company owned by Andrew Tate, and we knew that because Andrew Tate was bragging and laughing at the dude, okay? So while these dudes over here pointing the finger at Ruby Rose for clowning this obvious loser because he has no self-esteem, they're... They're over here not saying nothing to Andrew Tate, doing the same thing to the very same demographic of losers that would pay for webcam women. I just, I, chat, chat, when I tell you I am done with the hypocrisy, I, I, I don't, I can't stand it anymore. All right. But again, Ruby Rose, my, my last advice to her before we get on with this video is, listen, I don't, you can do your OnlyFans, whatever it is. It don't matter to me. <laughs> whatever. All right. Listen. You need to be careful. Like, y'all need to be careful. There was a guy, I don't know what his name was, um, but he killed his entire family, bro, because they found out he was giving a bunch of money to a webcam girl in, like, Ukraine or some shit, okay? He, he instead of letting the truth come out, he deleted his own family. These people who are webcamming and doing this stuff with women are crazy. You need to protect yourself, okay? You got Mercedes Moore. You got all these other – you don't know what can happen. So, again, listen, it's not even the fact that you're doing OnlyFans because – I mean, everybody's promoting that shit now, all right, including rappers, by the way, because those are the exact type of women are in your videos, okay? I, I just think that you got to be careful because you could easily be a Mercedes Moore. For instance, no one knew that was going to happen to her, not even her father, and it's just absolutely crazy. So y'all, just it's just something y'all got to be aware of, but again, I, I just think that their take on this is... It's absolutely hilarious, right? And, and it's funny. One thing, one thing I want to say, for chat, is this, okay? What Destiny's Divorce and a lot of this OnlyFans and some shit that's coming out ought to teach you is that being rich don't mean shit. Being rich does not equate to you're all of a sudden going to be getting all these women coming at you out of nowhere. Oftentimes, being rich sucks. All right. We look at these rappers. They're simps. We look at these artists. They're simp. We look at a lot of these, even these podcast guys you're supposed to be looking up to. They're simps. They're all simps. Okay. And they have it worse in the dating market. But again, the people who seem like they're winning are the broke dudes, okay? So a lot of these guys who in the Red Bull, y'all are celebrating Destiny's uh, divorce and shit like his. Oh, yeah, we won. We, we told Destiny it was going to happen. Open relationships on both ends. How dare you? Like, oh, my God. We knew she was going to cheat. And, and, and they're throwing the blame towards Melina because it's like it fits right into their, their talking points. But it's like, bruh. You're forgetting one thing, though, all right? And this is what these high-value guys are not mentioning right now. We're going we're gonna to do a separate video on it, right? But this is what these high-value guys are not mentioning. Bruh, th th these women are leaving these high-value guys for broke dudes with no value. So let that sink in for a lot of you motherfuckers that paid these dudes $800 for a high-value academy course. <laughs> and tell me who the real sucker is. <laughs> Am I wrong, Chad? Am I wrong? I've been telling y'all, just be yourself. Just be who you are. You're in the body's courses. Listen, average dudes are winning. We're winning, bro. Fuck this high value shit. Look at their lives. You, you listen, the moment you become high value, you are a simp. Listen, the guy had thousands, $60,000 to give to her. Four, he was willing to give her 10 bitcoins, bruh. So he definitely got money, all right? He's he, what you call high value, but look at how bad he's simping. That's why all y'all are defending him so hard because you see yourself in that man walking around with deep pockets but can't get a girl to save your life. God 
damn, let's get to this video, chat. All right, so we're about to go to the B cam because it's a fresh and fit video. Y'all know how that shit goes. All right, so um, Rumble gets on my ass on this, and I got to go ahead and, you know, go crazy on them. But, you know, that, that that's just, just what happened. So let's get to it, man. Uh, um, Holy. And we'll switch to the B cam. You want to take it in the rap world, the outside world, the RP world, everywhere. Even in regular media, it's been covered. And I think most people didn't know who Ruby Rose is. If you don't know who Ruby Rose is, you yeah, should look it up. Little... And I think Bills can pull up that uh, you know, doc document as well. But today we're going to cover, basically, what's been happening with Ruby Rose and her number one spender. Uh, I believe his name is, his name is Brian. Um, and it sucks because this is actually a manifestation of somebody who's made money but doesn't have frame and game to get what he wants. Uh-uh. Now that you see how they're trying to phrase it. Don't, don't want these guys are trying to sell you something. Even though they're responsible for this creating the same kind of audience, they're still trying to sell you something. Notice how they're saying, oh, well, he's high value. Yes, we, we, we have to acknowledge that, okay? But he doesn't have frame. What 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 are you trying to say? He, instead of uh, you know spending money in Ruby Rose, spend money on one of your courses to learn how to get framed. Really, you fresh? We know you had that whole Miranda disgrace situation, and you still simping over her. Well, come on, bro. Let's just be real for a second. I digress. These guys. So what does he, what does he have to do? Resort to OnlyFans. But again, this is a lot of people's reality in different ways. So we'll cover it today. Yeah. Um, so tell the people, do you know who Ruby Rose is? Can you tell so basically, she is? she's famous for being in music videos, for dating uh, rappers, but she's more known. She's a failed rapper herself, isn't she? She's God more damn. This is her right here. Yeah. She's more known for like modeling. Yeah. Um, so Ruby Rose Benton uh, is an American rapper, songwriter, and model. She first garnered attention following her appearance in the music video for Migos 2016, Bad and Bougie. Bougie. Oh, that's where she yeah. was. She's a okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was. The, yeah, she was the main girl in in the music video. And she for did that. play by Cardi as well. Yeah. Uh, did she date DDG as well? Yes. Yeah, she did. DDG uh, and, and Lil TJ. And Lil TJ. <laughs> Got a story about that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, she yeah? then pursued Funny. a record. Yeah, a recording career. First appearing on Playboy Cardi's unreleased song on the top uh, in 2018. A number of follow-up singles would lead up to the release of her debut mixtape for the streets. 2020, she is for the streets. And the label hit cover. My man <laughs> can't even help himself. You see all these shots he's throwing. All he's doing is reading her bio, and he's just throwing nothing but shots at her. God damn, Myron Dollar back. Gained wider success in her modeling career upon joining subscription service OnlyFans earlier that year. Furthermore, Benson made a cameo in Cardi B and Megan Thee Stein's music video for their 2020 single, WAP. Uh, and then she signed a Josh Marshall record label Mogul Vision imprint of Interscope uh, Records to release an upcoming debut studio album preceded by the single Hood Bitch Aesthetic. You know yeah. what's crazy? Um, she has no skills. Oh, my that are like legit skills <laughs> it's just like you show up in a video you get popular niggas want to smash you and you end up making the only fans making money because niggas want to smash you isn't that crazy bro bruh i said dude can you do that because no yeah because she's why, 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 see the you chat <laughs> you see what i'm saying a lot of these guys are low-key jealous so again this is why i always say the red pill of the manosphere is where a bunch of men who come here to complain about being men while comparing themselves to women that that's that's the best way to put it right because it's like why we, we're not women what why why would you want to be thinking about that shouldn't we be working on building the world huh shouldn't be working on uh you know recruiting people for the army to defend the world i, I don't know right protectors and providers or whatever the fuck right well what, why y'all sit here just you know, why, why, why can't we just drop our draws and make some money ain't that crazy <laughs> don't you find that absurd like uh, can we do that and you, you can see how you, you listen you can sense where a lot of resentment is coming from with a lot of these guys right because you can see when, when they're talking even about her situation and how she's just easily able to just make money off of selling her body which by the way it's not a new profession it really isn't. And you guys are hypocrites because you hire nothing but OnlyFans girls. But I digress. Okay. I just I just find the hypocrisy crazy and also in the vitriol that you guys have. Because you can sense it in their voice. The the video barely started. They're going over the bio. You see Myron. Yeah, yeah, she got no talent. No, 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 no music. Yeah, it sucks. It. It's like what? <laughs> like, god damn, relax. Relax. Now, here's what I have the problem. All right, Fresh, hold up. Who the hell are you coming out here telling somebody they got no talent, bro? 
I'm looking at you on that podcast right now. I see no talent on that B mic. Matter of fact, it's not just me saying that. Your own fans have been calling you out for it, bozo. So you over here telling talk about, oh, I, I can't believe somebody just get on here and do something so easy and, and they just just just, just make money, huh? <laughs> Can you tell that to the bunch of other people who are clowning you right now because you don't know how to do your own job. And anybody, Tom, Dick, Harry, whatever, can come out off the streets and do your job better than you. Hell, even discount Terrence Howard back there, Chris, can do better than you, bro. You over here talking about somebody else got no talent. Bro, I, I just find that just insane that you're going that route fresh. But, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm done with the five dollars with you. And Dob says, it's very hypocritical for FNF to condemn the very women the FNM profit from for being on their podcast facilitating simping. Yes, they are the biggest simp facilitators out there, right? So, they, they want, they, listen. This is the, the 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 evil part about this whole thing, right? Because again, remember the antidote and the poison analogy we were using a lot back. I mean, we were using it with Andrew Tate, right? Because Andrew Tate was doing that same shit. This is a prime example of it, right? These guys are selling poison while pretending to have the antidote. All right. And the poison is having these girls on the show, right? While telling you that these girls are the accurate represent representative of all women out there, meaning all women are going to behave like the selected view of OnlyFans girls we've recruited to our show. Like, that somehow makes sense, right? So they do that, and then they try to turn around and say, well, listen, we can save you from these women that we're putting on the show, all right? But you have to listen to us, buy our courses, buy our merch, be invested with us, and we can save you from these hoes. Not realizing that at the, at the time they're done, these boys are... They're going to go ahead and sign up for the OnlyFans. <laughs> they're going to go ahead and sign up for the OnlyFans. And guess what? Fresh and fit know it. That's the freaking sinister part of this whole operation, right? So that's why it's like it's so cringe when I hear Myron sit there say, <laughs> Saving kids is one thing. <laughs> but saving you yourselves? It's another thing entirely. <laughs> the boy was on. He was crying when that money. When he thought YouTube's gonna stop that money train. Yeah, they weren't saving two year old girls across the border being smuggled by actual traffickers. No, that's nothing that brings him value. What brings him value is actually platforming traffickers like Andrew Tate to tell you how to go ahead and pimp out women on their platform. That's saving lives. That 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 just makes so much more sense. I I know I can't stand these losers, bro. I just can't do it. But yeah. You, this is why we criticize them and we go heavy, right? Just like we say the music industry, like the music, like some of the beats they play, there's some like elements in it that that makes you want to go out and do stupid shit, right? That's why like some of these record uh, companies, they're invested heavy in private prisons. There's a, there's a I mean, <laughs> there's a cycle there, right? Because it, it just is what it is. It's the same thing with these incels and these uh, red pill platforms and the relationship they have with each other, right? That on one hand, they're selling poison and they don't they don't tell you about that, but they masquerade it as a, they have the antidote. Andrew Tate was, I would say, one of the main pioneers of this, right? He, the first, at first, he was selling only fans and webcam accounts with these, these these women and then turns around and makes a killing on the red pill talking about i'm the i'm i'm, I'm here i'm here to save you incels from yourself i am the red pill messiah <laughs> it's like yo shut the fuck up he actually said that he actually said that i'm not capping bro this guy thinks he's god like I mean, somebody somebody get him out of here bro before he ruins himself i'm sorry let's get to the video real quick i'm sorry chat we, we gotta get into this but you can tell i'm i'm i'm, I'm real passionate about this episode today I'll, I'll tell you this. She, she ain't a skilled musician. Nobody knows her for her music, bro. Bro, you know what's funny? If she made songs now with her current like popularity, she would blow up. Just actually good songs because right now people know who she, she is. She does make music. But it, but she sucks. Tell me one Ruby Rose song. I don't know. I don't, that's what I'm trying to say. Do you know any? Do you know any? Yeah, yeah, know yeah any. y'all think it's music in the street. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing you need to know is a diet plan, bro. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. You're not even in the running for Ruby Rose. Get the fuck out of here. And secondly, bro, you got a bunch of grown ass men on a podcast. I mean, these guys are in their 30s just, just talking about how much Ruby Rose suck. <laughs> is this what the red pill has come through today? You got some, you got some grown ass men just out here. Just, just, just focus on Ruby Rose and just talk about how she got no talent. No, no talent at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
it's like, bro, like y'all are y'all are just weird. <laughs> y'all are some weirdos, bro. But again, when we call you out for it, we're the ones that are being crazy, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'll, the I'll only thing I know about her message. is that uh, Playboy Cardi had a song. He did a play a voicemail for talking to him before the song. But I, I don't know what that song is name. It's crazy, bro. Anyhow, uh, she doesn't do much. Honestly. Yeah. But yeah. So, bro, I mean, I tweeted about this yesterday. Of course. Yeah, um, we live in an air, a, a, like, and I need the audience to kind of understand this shit too, because some of y'all, bro, you, you guys, you know, might not be around women like this or met girls like this or whatever. A lot of attractive modern day females, bro, have no skills, God no hobbies, damn. no real interests. They just wake up. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Surf the internet for a bit. Get offers. Get offers. Take go some. to brunch. Hang out with their girlfriends. Go to the beach. <laughs> do nothing. Travel. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like get flowing out. Yeah, bro. Like, yo, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Like, these girls really don't have any real substance to them, man. They kind of just flow through the world, just like, woo. <laughs> what the fuck at you? Whoa! The disdain on his voice. Like, what what the, first of all, that's not all attractive women. And I've dated a lot of attractive women, bro. They're not out here just sitting there waiting for a guy to come soup them off their feet or just sitting there waking up in the morning and then figuring out which ass shot they want to take for the day. That's not how that works. The women, I don't know what, what kind of attractive women y'all around, but the attractive women I'm around, they wake up and they go to work. Some of them, they wake up and they got they got to study for exams, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what kind of women are you dealing with? You see, this is the narrative that they're painting, right? And this is the worldview a lot of these incels are buying into. That this is what they believe the average modern women who is attractive. This is what they do, right? And this is how they behave. And he's just making it seem like, oh yeah, they just they just they just they just get things easy in life, and they just get handed so much. While you as a man. You get ignored. They laugh at you. They take your money for granted. They don't care about you, right? But look how easy their life is. And it's like, huh? Really? If we could take a poll of your audience right now and ask how many of them are actually doing blue collar work, all right? I, I, I wonder how much we get. <laughs> I wonder because you, you can't tell me you're doing that. Meanwhile, we have a whole situation where these dudes, there's a massive shortage right now. So we know you're not, you're not building shit. We know that, right? But this is what they do. They want to make it seem like all women that these guys are going to encounter out there, at least the ones they find attractive, this is just their lives. And what I find absolutely toxic about this, right, is because what this does, it poisons the mind. So when a guy sees an attractive woman and he's drunk with this ideology, now he's going to be like, oh, yeah, you know what? I bet you probably have it easy, huh? Like, you know, yeah, you just you just get things, you just get the world at your feet just because you think you look good. And, right, it just builds up the resentment. And before you know it, you, you, you fumbled the bag before you know you could get it, right? I mean, that, that's what it is. They're, they're setting you people up for failure. Just listen to what they're saying. It's, it's obvious. Glassy, I saw you with a two thousand jack. Glassy, I says, thank you, Duke. Mel isn't being hypergamous. Yeah, I, I, I just, I find it crazy that they're trying to switch it up as that. That's why I said in my earlier video, like, listen. If you think that this is a W for the red pill, it's not. It just means that a lot of y'all who bought these courses, a lot of y'all shitting on these, uh, uh, what do you call it? And I don't know if the dude is like, like, because he seems like he likes to, you know, he, he's in the LGBTQ category, but we don't know. All right, because he, he he seems very, very flamboyant, right? Listen, a lot of you bozos out here trying to be super macho, you know, freaking, bro, y'all lost the discount Ezra Miller, bro. Think about that. Let that sink in. All right? You lost to Ezra Miller's nephew ordered from Wish.com. That, that's what happened, right? <laughs> that, just think about that. So it just goes to show you when these guys are out here preaching reality, and the reality is you got to be rich, you got to be successful, you got to be a, a super macho, macho man, and you got to, you know, you got to, you got to, you just got to be solid, right? And women are just going to flock to you. No. They're going to leave you for the guy who's broke and probably a little bit more flamboyant than you. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of these red folks, you think you're winning with this shit. You think you're winning with this shit. You're not winning with this, bro. Listen, we're the red pillars. We got to give them props. We have to give them props, right? And what the red pillars got to get props on is listen, open marriages is, is a horrible idea. And I'm pretty sure, I, I think Destiny even mentioned that on the um, Mr. Endure stream with the whatever podcast, right? So again, it's one of those things where you can't. You, 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 it's not a good idea, right? If, if something like that would even work, if you're just casually dating someone, why on earth would you even make that 
like a relationship type of situation, right? It just, it just sounds like a bad idea waiting to happen, right? And I, it seems like he was ready for it. So, I, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, come down on the man for that because unlike you butt fucks out there, I've been through a divorce and it sucks, all right? It's not the prettiest thing in the world, all right? It is what it is. But for y'all to just run around here and say, oh, yeah, the red pill wins again. No, 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 no. If you look at the details and the, the content of the guy that she's leaving Destiny for, or at least she chose Destiny for on the surface, he does. he's not high value, bro. The dude seems more like a leech than anything else. So what does that say about y'all to waste so much money buying these high value academy courses, buying all these, all these investments that at the end of the day, a broke dude like looks like a freaking Ezra Miller, bro, can just swoop in and take your girl. I, I, yo, yo, hey, yo, when I saw dude's picture, I'm like, hey, who is this guy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, that, that's not a W. Listen, I think if y'all red pillars, if y'all incels really want a chance, maybe you should paint your nails. All right, get get some fishnet uh, 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 undershirt, <laughs> get a fishnet undershirt, and just 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 you know put your elbows like this, and then just walk down the sidewalk. I bet you a lot of women, it, it's gonna turn heads. <laughs> it's gonna turn all the heads, man. Especially these. Hey, 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 listen. You want a girl like Destiny's girl? Listen, just paint your nails, get you a fishnet, you know, a, a, a tank top, okay, and then you no know, dye your head blue or whatever the fuck you want to do. All right, and then just just walk like this down the street. <laughs> You get all the ladies looking at you, bro. Listen, on some level, that is true. Because, I mean, that's, that's that, again, it just shows you that I, I don't think a lot of these structures that these people are putting on you, I, I think it's more pressure on men than anything else, right? I, I think that you, they're pressuring you to make money, to do all these things, all for the pursuit of maybe earning a woman's validation. And then you turn around and look at reality, and it turns out that it's the average people or the people who are just, you know, uh, whatever. You wouldn't want to expect anything extraordinary out of right especially the 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 guy that um what, what is it called uh, melina left destiny 4 right i mean emotionally that's what it seems like is going on and we'll break that down in a different live stream but the dude didn't look like he had anything going on there's nothing going on he literally is is broke he got no money and on top of that he's mentally abusive it seems like right anybody who uses suicide as a way or threatening to hurt yourself as a way to keep another being uh, uh chained to you or whatnot dude you're a sick fuck you need help go talk to a psychiatrist you don't need to be dealing with anybody right now because you're on a slippery slope to hurting yourself and possibly hurting your partner but that, that that's all i have for that these guys are running around like it's some kind of win and just show you there's no common sense out here no more there's none it's none. That's why I laugh at these guys. We you over here looking for saviors and daddies and shit. Nah, we here to clown y'all because your saviors you've been investing so much money to have been proving themselves wrong. They're wrong. So shut down all that high value shit. All right, and turn you how to, to be a to be a what, what do you call it? <laughs> a, a sus value man. That's what they ought to be teaching y'all now. Be sus like the dude she left you for. <laughs> Like Myron, he's sus. I mean, he's heading somewhere with that. I'm sorry. Where, where was I going with this? My bad chat. <laughs> Joe, my bad. Lay shout to you for the two dollars super chat. Says Grant Amato deleted parents for webcam. That, that's the guy. That's the guy I'm talking about for 200k. 200k, bro. He invested 200k to an OnlyFans woman, and he thought he was entitled to her love. All right, the entitlement. These guys. That's what I'm telling you. These incels that talk about, oh, I'm a good man. How could she do this to me? You're not a good guy. You're not. You, you, you're talking about you You give her money and yeah, you give her attention and love and all that stuff like that because you're a nice guy. We know for a fact it's not because you're trying to be nice. It's because you want something in return. And when they don't give you that, the mask drops off and shit gets violent. We know who you people are. That, that's why a lot of these women, they don't like you guys pretending to be feminists or some of you guys who are doing all these other weird shit out here because women know you, all right? They, some of these guys, they've been around dudes all day life, all right? So they've seen all types of dudes, okay? So you coming up there trying to run some kind of game, especially with an experienced woman, it's just not going to work. Why do you think a lot of these dudes are going for women who are not experienced? They want to go for the younger girls, right? Because they can play around with their minds a little bit and then you know, kick him off to the curbs. Because these girls will put up with their bullshit. It just, it's just crazy. Uh, but let, let's get to the video. Mule Deem, shout out to you for that super chat. Says, just an observation. How come number one 
uh the how come no one in the red rp that's high value rarely ever say donate the x charity rp is just selfishness egotistical nonsense yes more deep we've been saying this right a lot of these guys are saying they've been helping men improve their lives and they've been helping save men's lives and all these different things like that and i'm like okay where where's the charity where are you y'all are talking about divorce so damn much where's the lobbying group that you have to change the laws around here Y'all have, I mean, a million plus dollars in a year, just Super Chats alone, you could fund some serious lobbying groups to go ahead and help the men, actually put a real world impact. But instead, what do we see? 19 real estate properties on Myron's end. We see Lamborghini Uruses and chains on Fresh's neck, okay? It just seems like they're counting you to feed their wallets. They don't actually care about you, okay? Because if they did, they'll be thinking about actually practical ways to get make sure that the lives of men out there, at least within their county that they live in, is improved but they're not even doing that these guys are in miami uh what is it is it is it what is it brickle you're in brickle you can't even improve the lives of men in brickle there right not even talk about the rest of the world just in brickle how have you done that like it, it's just cap a lot of this stuff is cap good point more deep no good point You know, it's, it's like, <laughs> like mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just be floating like around. Nigga. Watch mercy. You know what I'm saying? These bitches just be floating around, nigga. Like, heel, the, heel. The, you know, and it's like, and the thing is, the reason why is because they don't really have to have any t skills or talent to do anything. Yeah. If you're attractive enough, you literally live life on easy mode, you know? <sighs> be in a music video because of how you look, nothing else, and then bam, now you're in a situation where, oh, uh, you're a musician, LOL. You know, uh, Bills, is she in the 80 or 20? She's, she's, oh, I gotta give it to her. She's, she's actually in the 20, unfortunately. Oh, so she actually does make music and not just get fucked. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, well, uh, all right. well remember, <laughs> remember, yeah, the 80 20 rule. Okay, just so y'all know, yeah, so they know yeah. what the fuck we're talking about. We did a whole talk about this in the music industry. Mm. Uh, 20% of the women that are in the music industry are not getting smashed and actually have talent and make music. Okay, mm. the other 80% that are there that are in the studio and all this other shit. They're just getting smashed for studio for studio time. They're not really artists, you know, or dudes sell them a dream and be like, oh, put you on, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is they're just getting smashed. Well, so, uh, bro, but does, doesn't that reflect on the dudes that are doing that? I mean, honestly, what we're seeing in the music industry with these female rappers in, re in response to these labels and these rappers and collabs and whatnot, it's no different than what we saw in Hollywood, right? With Harvey Weinstein and the whole, oh, you want a job in Hollywood, huh? And he has he has a button. He pushes a button, the door locks, right? And drops his drawers and you got to do what you got to do. It's it's the same thing. And I won't be surprised in the near future, a bunch of these uh, women who had to do this stuff, they're going to be, a, there's going to be another round of Me Too for them. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen, if it's happening with Diddy right now, you, oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you guarantee all y'all label owners out there, because we know y'all been doing some weird shit out there behind the scenes, that's going to be exposed. Yeah, guaranteed. Listen, it, this stuff happens. All right. It happens all the time. These people do shit to get ahead. Myron, it happens on your platform. Matter of fact, wasn't that you trying to do a little uh, a quid pro quo for Anna Quinn Fitness for her to get on your platform? You wanted to smash her? Huh. <laughs> I, again, it just seems like you're, you're doing a little bit of projecting here, okay? You did the same thing. And I wouldn't be surprised Anna Quinn wasn't the only girl you've done that to. I'm sure there are numerous girls on that platform. Matter of fact, what, what, Miss Cheeks? We ain't forget about Miss Cheeks. Okay, how you sumo wrestled her in the bedroom and shit. Yeah, she was talking about that on them Twitter threads. We saw all of it. You do the same thing, all of you guys. What does that say? A lot of you incels that find a way to get money, all right? Guys who couldn't, you know, really be good with women while you were, you know, you know, normal. And then you get to the point where you have a lot of money and whatnot. You tend to treat women or view women differently. And we're seeing with a lot of these guys, a lot of Hollywood, we're seeing it with the music industry, and we're seeing it with you fucks right now. <laughs> we're seeing it with all of y'all. Like, again, more hypocrisy. I don't get it, bro. Alyssa Jackson, shout out to you for the $2 Super Jack says, Myra really hates women with a passion. Yeah. I don't think he did. Listen, he hates women, and I think more particularly he hates black women, right? I think that's the main thing. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. You, you, you will see what I'm talking about. Lay with the $2 Super Jack says, Fresh was praying or paying for a sugar baby, and Myron was on uh on the, on the, on the internet. Yeah, that's facts. What uh I think I have a uh what do you call it? I have her photo here. What was her name? Miranda. What is this? We had a whole saga between Fresh and Miranda. It was so bad. DJ Academics had to expose him. He was paying for her shit.
He paid for the yacht. He paid for all of it. These are simps. You know, you're absolutely right. And then Myron, what did he the one talk about? Oh, yeah. I can use sugar baby sites to get women. <laughs> oh, so you're not paying for these girls? Oh, oh, and these, these sugar baby sites, these women just love you for you. And it's not that you're pretending to be a high value man on these platforms. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just checking because you're, you're teaching something different to your boys back there because you're making it seem like these women genuinely love you for you or care about you for you. Nigga, they just care about the perceived value because they found you on Seeking Arrangement, which is a site for looking for sugar daddies. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's teach men to be bigger simps. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Like, these guys are clowns, bro. Uh, uh, Glassy Eye, shout out to you for Glassy Eye says, So, who are the women surpassing and out earning men? Or out, who are the women? There, there are a lot of women out there who are uh, surpassing and out earning men right now. Like, right now. Like, it's actually kind of like insane. Um, maybe not like if we're looking at it in terms of the, uh, the extreme ends, obviously men are going to be dominating the extreme ends, meaning men are be the most broke and homeless people you're going to see on the extreme. And then men are going to be the most richest and wealthiest people on the other end of the platform or the other end of the extreme. Right. So but right in the middle, you see people tend to congregate there. So I think right now in the middle, like uh, women are catching up. And it's not even like it's to the point where a lot of these guys are worried about it. And y'all should just go to these trade schools like we're telling you. Like it, it, these guys are trying to make get you to make money quick online, drop shipping and all that. No, go be an electrician, bro. Or go just go get an IT certificate, bro. Like, I don't know. Just go do something. All right. Because you are going to get laughed. All this, uh, even, even the stuff that it's get 3D printing can do spectacular things now, bro. People are building houses out of fucking cement, and there's a printer that can print the whole thing. Okay, uh, there goes a uh, uh, good uh, chunk of the labor force right there in the next couple of years. I mean, what are we, guys, you got to learn new skills. That's why when people say these things, you get mad, but you can't get mad. You need to adapt. Like, uh, you think this corporation is going to take care of you after they run you out of business? Bro, it ain't even cool to be a drive through attendant no more, bro. They got robots taking care of that now. <laughs> like, they got robots taking the orders. So even the low-skilled jobs are gone. They're being siphoned out of there. And then y'all are laughing at these women for being over-enrolled. Bro, I'm telling you right now, go to school. Don't listen to these bozos, bro. Because men are, men are leaving universities. And you're not going to get a good job if you are if you don't have some kind of certificate or degree or something, bro. Like, And that's why women are catching up. They might have more debt. That's the thing. They have a lot more debt when it compares to men out there. But they're making money. It's crazy. But yeah, they're, they're, they're out there. They're out there, Glassy Eyes. Um, we got oh, Charles in there with the $50 super chat. Says, shout out, Duke. Love what you do, bro. I love what you do, bro. Shout out to you. Says, keep exposing these dweebs. I'm here for every bit of it. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate you being here, too, by the way. Can we get a W, a super W in the chat? for? Oh, my God. Charles ending, bro. Salute to you. I appreciate that. But uh, absolutely, man. I appreciate it. Willie with the $10 super chat. Let's get a W in the chat for Willie. God dang. I appreciate it. Willie says, this Red Pill community has more trauma than days of our lives. Bro, my mama used to be addicted to that show, dog. <laughs> and so are the days of our lives. And, and there's all these shots of them just turning around really dramatically. It's like, God damn it, bro, Ma. Why are you watching this? You know it's fake. It's not even like a real movie. <laughs> it's like, what's up? It's like, you're doing great work, dude. Love you from Australia. Shout out to you from the land down under. I appreciate it, bro. Kayvon Slims with the $5 super chat. Kayvon Slims says, uh, Myron hates women because they're his competition for the men he wants. Yeah. And honestly, honestly, Kayvon, what I'm starting to think is that the more I listen to these guys hate on Ruby Rose, because of how easy it is to get money as a girl on OnlyFans, the more I start to realize these guys might actually be jealous of these OnlyFans women. And they might actually, in their minds, be genuinely competing with these OnlyFans women because they serve the same demographic of men. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> am I wrong? Am I wrong? So I can see why they're hating on her because I am. Well, all these men, can you believe it? They're just spending money on her. Why did they just put it on us? We can, we can help you. We can help you avoid this. Just spend money with us. <laughs> That's what I think. These guys are weirdos, bro. Oh my god. Oh, 
what I'm saying is that is she in the 20 where she's an actual artist and not just getting smashed by niggas, or is she in the 80 like every other chick that's a musician I think that's a whore? In the top five percent, I'll she, tell you why she's yeah. getting wiped up by rappers and celebrities. So normally, go oh. get smash, sold a dream, and then leave. Or for example, they make music and that's it. But she's actually getting wiped up by guys. So I mean, on some level, she's getting like top tier dudes to wipe her up. But niggas have dogged her out too, I'm sure. Of course. Oh, 100 percent Niggas still wiping her up though. I mean, that's crazy. They didn't play by Cardi. But these niggas, be, rappers be simps, bro. Oh, we just making excuses up. But again, even fresh in his dumbassery, he has to be honest. I mean, it's not even helping his uh, platform's case, okay? But he has to be honest. You, you can hate on Ruby Rose all you want. You can say, oh, men aren't going to take you seriously because you have an OnlyFans. But at the end of the day, she's getting wifed up by these high-value men. This is what we've been saying, bro. These OnlyFans women or these thoughts are winning. And y'all just haven't realized it yet because you're in your fee-fees. Because at the end of the day, you are their market. You are. <laughs> you are. You're the type of dude that if she pulled up to your crib butt-ass naked, you will fold. That's you. So, again, these women are still winning. They're, they're out here. They're, they're men out there that are willing to wife them up. So, you guys trying to go on this self-soothing spree of saying, okay, well, she knows she does OnlyFans and she really reveals her body to the world, but at the end of the day, no man will ever look at her again or even marry her or take her seriously. It's like, no, that's that that's the crazy part. It, it, it's actually the opposite. A lot more men would do that. Even Maya Khalifa, I, although it didn't last long, there were dudes trying to wipe her up still, right? It's just it's just when, when, when it, I think what happens is the media, when they get a hold of that, then that guy gets pressured because people start sending him uh, photos of like all the dicks that she done had, right? <laughs> and then obviously it's overwhelming for anybody on that national scale, right? So again, there's still a dude out there that are trying to wipe these women up. And some of them are just like you. So I just find it interesting that no matter what, you're, you behind these high value courses, you're wasting your time at the end of the day. <laughs> that too. Just give it a million. That they, too. They'd be, they'd be simps. But, to, but just giving her her um, slight kudos, she did in some way infiltrate the rap scene and she's still there today. So other than that, though, skill wise, terrible. Now, granted, Granted, she made OnlyFans. She made herself a uh, money source, which is very valuable for herself. Because she can't make music. She's not making money off music. Exactly. Which most Just like turn uh, to. Uh, who's Asian Doll. Yeah. Also a sorry artist. That's what they turn has to. Has to do OnlyFans. And that's the thing with female artists. They can always sexualize themselves and yeah. make money. Yeah. Dudes can't do that shit. Yeah. And, no, granted, though, again, guys will simp on her without OnlyFans. So now they have an avenue to do it in real time yeah. and get recorded. So this guy uh, believes in his music. Because yeah. I'll tell you this, if she was making money from music like that, she yeah. wouldn't be on OnlyFans. Exactly. That shit, that, that, that shit fucks you up like for being taken seriously. Now, let's talk about this guy that was um, seen with her in the actual... Yes. Um, so now, we, now, now that we know who this useless female is... Uh, <laughs> God damn! Whoa! Hey, yo! God damn! Wait, now we know who this useless female is. I, I don't know. She seems a lot useful to the dude who's paying her. I mean, he's paying her a bunch of money, so I don't know how useless that is. That's crazy. Chris calls up with the five, says, off topic, turns out Myron's boyfriend is openly gay. Tree of Logic exposed him the other day. Wait a minute. Wasn't Myron the one that said it was a joke? Dude, they, they just bust in his room and then jump on the bed like he was sleeping at 2 in the morning? Uh, uh Nah, I don't believe it. Nah, <laughs> not not now. Oh, oh, oh! Yo, chat. Remember when he said that men give better head than women? What if my man experimented? Listen, listen. Some people go to college and experiment with new things, right? But what if my man went to college and experimented? Really, really got taught the lesson of good hard work. <laughs> God, bro, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Chat, we got to, before we get any further on this, we got to go over the sponsor of today's show. I can't believe I didn't do this already. All right, I, I, listen, 
that's horrible for me not to acknowledge the sponsor of today's show, all right? And that is the YouTube like button, but particularly you guys, all right? I, I can't believe I failed to acknowledge you guys at the start. That's how heated I got with this episode. So please, shout out to you guys, okay? Go ahead and sponsor the show by smashing that like button at the bottom of the YouTube screen if you haven't already, all right? And listen, if you like where the show is so far, the content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button along the way. This show is sponsored by you guys, and honestly, I appreciate it. I got to take the time to really appreciate y'all because you could be anywhere in the ch- in the world right now. Really, some of y'all are anywhere in the world right now, which is which is crazy. But you you chose to be here, and that does actually mean a lot to me. And it, like some of these red pillars that take y'all for granted, it actually means a lot. So shout out to you! Don't forget to smash and subscribe and sponsor the show. Let's go ahead and get it. This is crazy, bro. We're gonna. <laughs> bro, she's useless, bro. So um, I saw this shit the other day, bro, and I, I ain't gonna lie. Guys, this is why I wrote the book, Why Women Deserve Less, which you guys are about to see here. So Masai. let's go ahead and uh, go into the article. This comes from the right Daily Mail, there. okay? Uh, and it goes here. Obsessive OnlyFans member who would empty his bank account to be a rapper, Ruby Rose, gets tattoo of her face after spending at least $60,000 on her in a month. Damn. Okay. Damn. And you can see here, here he is on the right hand side with uh, with Ruby Rose, uh, so dude, the and bo- then the tattoo the says number one spender. Okay, that's insane, bro. An OnlyFans customer, um, uh, hoping rapper Ruby Rose will be his one true love, pro- uh, proved his devotion for the entertainer in the most permanent way possible. Brandon, an obsessed fan, got oh, Brandon, a tattoo Brandon. of Ruby, uh, of Rose's face on his leg as a way oh, to prove that insane. his commitment to her is real. Okay, the online model posts posted videos of that tattoo and several other texts from him declaring his love earlier today on X. We need formerly to re- refresh because what? I don't think it's showing the uh, images here, but it, they're very disturbing, by the way. Yeah. So, um, um, okay. So here's the tattoo. Surprise! What do you think? Right. <laughs> so and these, it goes. These are the it took almost three hours. This is the messages to her, to her, and she's not responding to any of them. No, I, I don't uh, blame her. And look at the way Fresh of it are talking about it. Like, like, like she did him wrong for not responding. I'm sorry if some weirdo sends me a text message with my face on their palm, bro. We gonna have problems, <laughs> I, bro. I, you'll be lucky if you don't get a restraining order. What are you talking about? I'm not responding to that. No sane woman should. You're just putting yourself in danger. Like this is crazy. This guy needs help. Like no normal man should be doing this. So here's the tattoo. Surprise, what do you think? Right? So and it goes, these are the it messages. took almost three hours. This is the oh, messages to her, to her, and she's not responding to any of them. None. Um, and then yeah, Brandon but, had been texting her since Friday, and his messages went from creepy to dark in less than 24 hours. Bro, look at what she said to him as in her phone. Yep. Brandon, Brandon Weirdo Weird FM. FM. Bruh. Right? What? And she, and, wait, and she, wait, 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 do y'all, wait, are y'all feeling sorry that she named him that? Wait, whoa, 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 yeah, he's a weirdo, bro, he got a tattoo of her face on his thigh, bro, yeah, yeah you being labeled a weirdo, all right, you lucky we don't, we, we don't put restraining order as the name on there, bro, like, what are we talking about, y- yeah, so, wow, you see these bozos, they're trying to make it seem like, oh, wow. He said that he did all this stuff for her, and she only labeled him a weirdo on her phone. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, you're weird. <laughs> hey, dude, you need help. You can't just – you don't even know her, bro, and you're talking about you love her. You're going to tell – bro, I'm going to tell you this right now. Maybe you haven't been around women at all, but – Women will be creeped the fuck out if they just met you a couple times, all right, on, on some platonic shit, and all of a sudden you're sending them nonstop text messages professing your love to them, and then boom, you hit them with a thigh tattoo pick. Yeah, you a weirdo. You lucky you're not getting blocked, my dude. That, that's crazy. Look at this. I think she purposely put the SOS there to be funny. Yeah, uh, and like, yeah. myself, bro. Like, for, hey, <laughs> this guy might kill me. Let me let me let the world know. If something happened to me, he did it. Look, hold on, hold on, stop. <laughs> scroll up, nigga, scroll up. 135 messages. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling y'all, yeah. niggas, that these girls' phones is the gateway. Just, it's a box of dicks. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm telling you guys, all right, these girls' phones, you see 135 messages? You see that shit? These girls, it's almost like their phones are just a box of dicks. Let's, let's say box of dicks. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just a, a bunch of people in there trying to get her. 
Why would a box of dicks be the fucking uh, first thing out of your mouth, bro? <laughs> are, are are you thinking about a box? Are you thinking about a box of dicks, nigga? What, where did that come from? Like, this looks like a look, look at her. Just a box of dicks, hey, bro. Listen, I don't know about you, but my shit look kind of like that. Like, maybe not of 135 unread messages, but I gotta if I can pull up my phone right now, I got a hell of a lot of unread messages, bro. It's just I'm in. I'm part of a lot of groups. I know a lot of people, so people text me and sometimes I miss it. <laughs> it just is what it is. Like, I don't. I, if you have my number, I expect you to call me or something like that, right? But it is what it is. So I'm not surprised if she's famous. Right? I'm surprised her DMs aren't even more than 100, 135 unread messages. That, that's crazy. Y'all are just worried about that. Again, these are grown ass men. All it is is a gross <laughs> mode. It's a fucking box of dicks, bro. Yeah, Instagram too, by the way. Yo, like, yo, these girls literally just got messages upon messages upon messages from random niggas, man. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Crazy. And you guys wonder why girls flake on you or why girls behave the way that they do or why they're stuck up bitches or why they're arrogant, etc. They do this because when they look at their phone, they're getting constant affirmation, right? Like that girl said, the Looney Tune girl yesterday uh, on Monday. They're getting constant affirmation that they're perfect, that they're beautiful, that they're the best in the world. It's a fucking dream world all over the place, you know, that they can do no wrong. So that's what the fuck it is, man. Um, yeah. Wild. Uh, all right. So he goes, Ruby, stop ignoring me. Why are you ignoring me after all the money that I have given you to show you that I am only loyal to you and how much love and appreciate and adore Look you? Look at how dare you not answer me? I see you actively <laughs> posting on your Instagram story and have not answered me once. You are making me very mad. I've treated you like a princess and you won't even take the time to respond to me. I will not tolerate. This. Listen to this. Do you is this the is this someone you want to meet in real life? Sending you all this money ha expecting all of these demands. She didn't she didn't Listen, she didn't ask you to send her the money, bro. This is where you idiots get your mind all confused, all right? And then all of a sudden, you play victim when shit don't end up your way. This is how y'all end up being weirdos, bro. And then you go on a deleting spree, all right? Go and delete other people because so, so you can get the clue. Like, oh, why is she, if you if you were smart enough to pick up a hint, okay, you would realize that she wasn't feeling you because she met you on OnlyFans. She didn't meet you in any place that was genuine she didn't meet you from a place that you know it could be you know like a dating site or like a, a even off the street or like even you hitting her up on instagram even instagram you'd have had a better chance she met you on only fans meaning to her you are a fan and you fulfilled the prophecy by giving her thousands of dollars and now you feel entitled to her time nigga you already got what you paid for like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand, bro. Like, th this is the kind of people that will delete you. Like, y'all got to be careful. I mean, Porsche 9 level fan. Shout out to you for the five dollars. He says, what's up, Duke? What's up, bro? He said, I recently just got an interview with a financial firm. Uh, the position is at starts at help desk. Yo, that's what's up. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Real practical skills. Get in there, bro. Help desk is, listen, it, you can get, bro. Help desk can springboard a lot to a lot of places, bro. All right. It, it, you can you, listen, just get you some experience right now in help desk, right? And do it the best you can. Learn about the your department and everything uh, around it. And, bro, and then start figuring out where you want to go from there. But this is how you do it, bro. Tech is where it's at. It's where it's at. It says, uh, but transfers to the knock position more in email. Okay, bro. Yes. Can we get it? Yeah, let's get the W in the chat for Porsche 911. This is what I'm talking about. An actual W, bruh. Someone who's actually going to keep making progressions in life. This is what I'm talking about. Stop listening to all this get-rich-quick shit. Yo, start. Listen, some help desk positions right now will pay you starting 25 bucks an hour. 25 bucks an hour. And you got to know basic desktop skills. That's it. Right, maybe like troubleshooting for software and stuff like that. That's unique, specific to your team. But still, and that springboards you to so much more, bro. I'm telling you, man. Like, don't listen to these internet bozos. We need more people out here in these uh in these positions. Porsche 911 fan. I I'm gonna read that email. Man. I'm I'm proud of you, bro. Shout out to you, man. Let's let's get them W's in the chat, bro. That's, that's amazing. That that really is. I I'm proud of you, bro. But shout out to you, Alisa Jackson with the. Two dollars to chat shot to you says FNF would have a field day if Pearl started only fell. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> what the, hey yo. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, and listen, they probably would, but I think there's some brothers in the black manosphere right now that would love it a lot more than, than we let on. I would just be real with you. Obsidian, bro, would love to see that. Or uh, who's that dude? Blessings? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Nah, I don't want to. Hey, I'm sorry for putting that in your head, chat. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to see blessings and Pearl doing an OnlyFans collab, dog. I don't want to even think about it. I'm sorry oh, for getting Lord. mad at you. I did not mean to. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have. But the love I have for you causes me to get very emotional or emotion, especially about you. I love you so much, Ruby. You are my world, my rock, my queen, my everything. There is nothing that I wouldn't do to make you the happiest little princess in the whole world. Can we, can we mention here real quick? That's what girls do. When they can't get your attention, they get mad. Then they apologize. They get mad again. Yep. He's acting like a female here. He is acting And she's the man. Yep. Crazy, bro. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Uh, I promise that I love you and only you for you. I don't care about your followers, your fans, your money. I only want you. You are the best thing that ever has happened to me. I know that we only met for five minutes and that you, bro. Let's keep going. Well, okay. I want to marry you. And then, boom, that shows the, the month. He said, I haven't spent... spent Thirty thousand dollars more on you since we met. You're a freaking clown, bro. I thought we had something genuine and real. What is genuine about dropping thirty k on the girl you just met? That is the opposite of genuine, you weirdo. I mean, get a clue. Are you not able to read the room here? That's not how you. That's how you build a genuine relationship. She's just gonna be seeing you as the guy who has the bag and is dumb enough to drop thirty bands on her for now not having to do shit. And you expect her to do anything extra. This is how you set yourself up to fail. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this right here is like a reflection of uh, maybe on a smaller scale, but like the type of uh, relationship attempts a lot of their incel fans go through. Right. Think about it. Maybe you know, some, one of these fresh and fit fans. The, the reason why they're a fresh and fit fan is because they did something similar to this. Maybe not dropping thirty thousand dollars on OnlyFans girl. Maybe something a little bit modest, right? Maybe maybe they 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 gave a hundred bucks to a girl that they've been hanging around with, and they thought that it was going to lead to something more, and it just ended up not not panning out. And instead of blaming themselves for not reading the room, they blame the woman and they join the red pill. That 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 that's what I'm talking about. So we see a bunch of that stuff that happens possibly on a smaller scale, and now we're seeing it even worse with guys with money. That can just drop 30k on on a woman and who's to say he even has the money right because we talk about that grant guy that murdered his entire family because he dropped two hundred thousand dollars on a webcam girl and instead of having his family find out the truth he deleted them all that's crazy so who's to say he's dealing with his own money what if it's his friend's money what if it's his family's money right and at that point because he's not securing the love from this woman he's getting desperate because he owns owes people money and listen, a cornered rat can do some dangerous things, bro. I'm just saying, boy, you y'all ladies got to be careful. Oh shit. <laughs> what happened here? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. And 30,000 more on you since we met because I thought we had something genuine and real. Damn. I will empty my bank account just to be with you. I will travel across the country just to randomly run into you again. I'll never be over you. You are the love of my life. What a clown. My perfect little princess, you are stunning. You are my breath of fresh air in a world that is so dark and so cold. You are the sun to my thunderstorm, the spurt of luck in my day, <laughs> the pot of lucky gold at the end of the rainbow. Hey, listen, Loki, that shit kind of sweet, bro. I might have to cop a few lines from you and, and send it to my girl. But listen, 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 <laughs> listen, dog. This is weird. You don't know her. I mean, it's sweet and all, but it's creepy. You don't know her. And she don't know you enough to be talking like this. This is crazy. You are my everything in this life, and I wish nothing more to spend the rest of this life with you. I could spend all of my money and be homeless just to wait. What is this? God damn, man. Terrible. And, 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 um, and then this girl went ahead, bro. So you can see here, she tweeted it. Tap my face on you so I know it's real. And her dumb ass couldn't even spell you appropriately. She spelled that shit with just the you. You. Yo, I hate these ghetto ratchet whores, hey, man. Yo. Like, yo, what the you. fuck, man? Hey, whoa. Whoa! Yo, hold up! I spell you like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are people who text people right now that spell you with a U, bro. Matter of fact, there are people to check that do that right now. Why, 
again, Myron, tell me you hate black women deeply without telling me you hate black women deeply. Why are you singling her out? Because she's typing with the U instead of the Y-O-U. People do that all the time. What? Really, bro? Yo! This dude sounds like he mad. Like he just hates her. I text like that, bro. And I ain't ratchet, dog. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, what? What? I'm sure you text like that, too. Yo, the hatred for man. Like, again, when you listen to the anger he's putting out there for Ruby Rose, it's like, huh? Like, where, where is all this energy coming from, bro? You a grown-ass dude. <laughs> what? Oh, you're not you worried about the letter U? Wow, bro. It's a vowel. Just relax. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Hold on. I got to run that back, Chad. I can't believe you went. Cr- wow, dog. Hold up. And be homeless just to wake. Oh, God damn, man. Terrible, dog. And, 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 um, and then this girl went ahead, bro. So you can see here, she tweeted it. Tap my face on you so I know it's real. And her dumb ass couldn't even spell you appropriately. She spelled that shit with just the you. You. Bro, you're retarded, bro. <laughs> like, that's crazy that you're, you're, wow, bro. This hate is coming from somewhere else, chat. Chat, this this hate got to be coming from somewhere else. That don't make any sense. Like, that don't make, that that don't make no sense what, whatsoever. We all text like this at some point. Oh, I hate these ghetto <laughs> ratchet whores, man. Like, yo, what wow. the fuck, man? <laughs> That, yo, that's a telltale sign that it's a hood bitch. Whoa! She even spells like that. You. And it's all fucking retarded. Oh, my goodness. Yo. I no, say this, they- hey, listen, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. This dude is racist. I'm sorry, chat. Chat, chat, chat. I got to go there. I got to go there, bro. He's racist. And some of you are like, Duke, he's black. No. No, 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 He's from Sudan, and he's from the northern Sudan. In northern Sudan, some of these guys don't consider themselves black. They don't consider themselves African, okay? They consider themselves Arab, okay? And Arab is different from, from Africans, okay? That That's just a big difference. I don't, you can actually see the difference, okay? And uh, listen. I think, bro, listen, they don't make it, whoa, that's how you know they're ghetto, just kind of spelled the letter U, like, what? That don't, they're white girls, Asian people, like, what, that's racist, though, <laughs> like, yo, this guy is racist, change my mind, I'm sorry, I'm, why, why is he targeting a black woman like that? Like, we all text like this at some point, bro, what? I, I'm so confused. Mundi, shout out to you for the five dollars which chat. Mundi says, "If Pearl gets an OnlyFans, I nominate Duke." To- hey, 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 <laughs> hey! Keep your nomination, my boy. I don't want it. <laughs> I had no boss. <laughs> he says, "Look to our and then review it after it goes. It goes blind with us." Hey, listen, dog. I, I think that just might be it for my channel. <laughs> the moment I watch something like that, I'll be too traumatized to come back. I'm a, I, listen, I will I have ventured beyond the depths of my own understanding. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm just going. Bro. I'm sorry. Eh? Listen, if I go ahead and watch that, I'm not coming back. There ain't no way. How do you come back from watching something like this? Okay, come on. Ooh, hey, you okay? Uh, I appreciate it more deep. Uh, on behalf of uh, me, we're going to have to pass that recommendation to somebody else. <laughs> we're going to have to do that to somebody. Whoa, <laughs> my rib. Hey, yo. Hey, nah. <laughs> I'm going after that, bro. That's the end of our career. I would end my own career after watching that, bro. They're like, yo, Duke, what happened? I, I watched the video I shouldn't have. It was over. I, I-, I didn't even stand a chance, bro. A as D E Y. Yeah, what day. The fuck? Day. Uh, the message got dark at 11.45 that night, and after writing, how dare you, and I will not tolerate this, he quickly apologized. He began texting Rose, not so innocent, text messages at 1 a.m. and shared his OnlyFans account profile that sa- and uh, that said he spent at least 60000 on her OnlyFans. I will send you 10 Bitcoin right now if you answer me. That is worth almost 400000 She probably doesn't know that because she's a dumb female. Wow. Just pathetic. She even got him on Do Not Disturb right now. Look at it. Do Not Disturb. Dude is willing to drop $400,000 on her just to have her respond to him. You tell me if this is the behavior of someone who's normal. How How is this a normal conversation? She's barely talking to you, and you're willing to pay her $400,000 just for her to respond? Sir, I don't think it's the women that are having the problems. I think it's you. I think you have some deep-seated issues, all right? And honestly, what is it good to be a high-value man if you don't even value your own money? You want to just toss away $400,000 like that? 
really? So how did you earn your money? Because clearly you don't give a shit about it. I mean, somebody who works hard for their money and knows the, the 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 gravity of what it takes to build that kind of wealth, they just don't squander it like that. People who squander wealth like that are either wealth that doesn't belong to them, wealth they inherited, or or, or something. You don't just or or something loaned out to them from friends. That's why I'm saying guys like this are dangerous, right? Like that Grant guy. We talked about it. he deleted his whole family because he had two hundred thousand dollars to spend on a webcam girl. That's a lot of money. And the, that webcam girl probably didn't know. To her, he's just some rich dude that's paying her. But he doesn't know. She didn't. He didn't know that he's underneath a lot of pressure because he owes his mama that money. He owes his brother that money. He owes his daddy that money. So again, like this, this is stuff like this just makes me very, very weary, right? And, and honestly, a lot of these women, a lot of you guys think it's so sweet, like they got the OnlyFans out there and they're making so much money. A lot of these dudes are crazy. They are weirdos, okay? And if they knew where you live, they wouldn't hesitate to pay you a visit. If this guy is so deluded to believe he's in love, like he's in love, if he actually knew where Ruby Rose put her head down at night, he will be there. And what if he pops up and didn't like what he sees? You saw how quick he was able to lose his temper because she didn't respond. How dare you? I would not tolerate this. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I, oh, please, please, please. I didn't mean it. No, he meant it. He meant it all right. Ladies, be careful. This shit is, I mean, honestly, this is kind of scary, bro. Like, you, 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 this, these incels are not a joke. They're, they're scary people. Yo, that was a good test, by the way. Yo, $100 or a Bitcoin? Wow. And all the girls wanted $100 instead, bro. That was funny. Even Miss China, I should know about Bitcoin. Yeah. Because of one incident where her boyfriend bought Dogecoin. Yeah, said no. and not Bitcoin. And she couldn't even know the difference, bro. Oh, and once bro. again, man. China, I'm working towards you, man. But El it, China, it's man. It's not working out. El China. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, I'll send you 10 Bitcoin. That is worth almost 400K. All you have to do is respond to me with one word, Ruby. He wrote, the fan allegedly had relative, uh, relatives create videos on Thanksgiving him telling Rose he wished she was there with him and that he is starstruck by her. Oh Brandon mentioned God. in the sex messages that Rose opened all his messages but not respond to a single text. <laughs> he eventually sent her photos at 9 a.m. of his tattoo he got to show his commitment to her, which he said... Uh, took almost three hours to complete. Rose created the ex-post an hour and a half after he sent the messages, so the entertainer may have appreciated his messages after all. No. No, she didn't. It's a show of how much of a simp this guy Look at is that, man. for her. $62,321.70 in one month? Oh, you a loser. Oh, you, oh. Oh, yeah, you a loser, bro. Buddy, buddy paid the price of a fucking Tesla. A base Tesla model, dog, for a month. It just shows you don't value money at all. 62 bands, bro. Wow. You're a loser and you're a psycho. 62,232. Uh, wait, $62,321.70. It says remember crypto whale looking for a queen. Hold up. It says crypto whale looking for a queen. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, that's sad. So, it, 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 again, this is proving us right. It don't mean shit when you're a high-value man. It, 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 it doesn't mean shit when you're a high-value man. And obviously, crypto whale, it makes sense. It doesn't take much to be a crypto whale. Just to take a, a few lucky investments, all right? Unless you're in the know with a group or something like that. It just takes a few lucky investments and you're in. Like the guy that made a million off a of doge and didn't cash out. <laughs> I mean, he was lucky and then became unlucky. But still, right? What does it tell you about these high value men in regards to women? It just, it just tells you a lot. Y'all, again, they're selling you courses on high value men, and these are the biggest simp. So they're training you to be a simp. You understand? I, I, I don't know how else to say it. They're training you to be a simp. Okay, because it's the, now I'm starting to get the impression that to be high value, all right, it just means spending a lot of money on women. That's just what it is. And it's just like, huh, I, I, I don't think that's the right idea, bro. I'm j just saying. Everyone girls used to brag about getting married. Crypto find, whale looking for a queen. This nigga. Bro. Finding a, a man of means. Now they're bragging <laughs> about how much niggas want to spend on them and simp. That's crazy, bro. Mind you, the total was 100K plus you yeah. spent uh, that we know about, actually. Could be more. Um. But again, this is just a case of her showing to people, hey, look at me. I'm Ruby Rose. This is my value. Uh, guys willing to pay 100K upwards for 
just just to talk to me and uh her not responding just shows that like she's the power here and upper hand what but again no 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 I, listen don't respond period ladies if a man is sending you messages like that listen keep the money i mean i guess whatever if you want to if you want to just know that there are people like that lurking out there he might want want it back you know you don't know right just saying stop talking to these people you don't d- don't talk to them right it's not that it's, again look how they're phrasing it oh ruby rose thinks she's in a power position and she's just above them no She's probably scared for her life. That's why she titled it, you know, what, what do you call it? Uh, OnlyFans fan SOS or whatever it is. This guy is crazy, bro. So, again, these, these guys have a warped thinking when it comes to this kind of uh, dynamic. Uh, this is what girls do. They'll text you nonstop paragraphs if you don't respond to them. Uh, feeding for your attention and for your validation. And if you don't respond to them, bro, okay, go an extra mile. Maybe even show up at your house. But this guy, I just wonder, how did he meet her? Because, again, randomly he met her in a hotel. How do you know that, he, that she was there? Kind of creepy, right? Um, so we're... wait, what? It would no, nah, that's not random, bro. He's stalking her. Yo, Ruby Rose, your life might be in danger, bro. Again, it reminds me of that Mercedes Moore girl, right? Poor woman. I mean, she doesn't deserve to get killed like that, and no one deserves to die like that. That's just awful. But again, it's just one of those things where you don't know who these people are. You don't he, he just randomly bumped into you at a hotel. Randomly, no, hey, get you some security. No, that's not random. That ain't ra- that's not random, Ruby Rose. You, your life might be in danger, bro. That's nah, uh uh-uh. uh, no, nah, nah, that, that's not random. Chat, I refuse to believe that was just a random encounter. What the hell are we talking about here? No way, ain't no way. Yeah, he probably pulled up on her. Yeah, so I would say Ruby has to also worry about security now because, yeah, yeah, no, shit. Again, bro, you never know. Um, but still, I yeah. think um, this is sad because, again, this is someone that has success on some level with money um, or crypto, but is being misled to think that he has a chance when he's no chance. He's not being misled. Again, they're trying to make it seem like it's Ruby's fault that she's misleading him. He's misleading himself. He's doing all of this himself. This is all in his own brain. You listen, y'all need to be honest about this. This is not helping his situation. This guy needs help. He, he randomly meets her at a hotel. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not accepting this at all. <laughs> I am not accepting this at all. No, he's doing this to himself. And the sooner you bozos realize it, the better. And you notice this is what I mean when these guys make excuses for a lot of these incels and don't acknowledge that they have to take accountability for their situations that the, for the reasons their relationships not working out or why they can't find a woman. You got to take accountability for that. You have to. So oftentimes it's probably you. You're the common denominator. So you just say, oh, yeah, Ruby. No, it's not her fault. He he is putting these ideas in his own head, okay? And he needs to stop thinking about these fantasies with Ruby Rose that isn't there. It's in his head. He's, he's building a woman in his mind that actually doesn't exist. Even if he meets Ruby Rose, he's not the girl of his dreams because, it, again, it's his own dreams. Reality is she don't care. FSC shout out to you for the two dollars of three dollars super chat says, "Did you see Flacco's uh, video on Ruby?" No, I might as well. Is it good? I'm gonna check it out. I fuck with Flacco, so we'll, we'll check it out. But uh, yeah, no, I haven't seen it. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it good? Well, let, let me know. I actually haven't seen it. Yeah, and I want to show this as well, real quick. So, um, I posted this on my Twitter. Um, this other girl, he's been my number one spender this year too. And she pulls up his shit. And uh, how much did he spend on her bills? I can't read that there. 107,000. 107,000. Wow. God damn, bro. Fuck. His name is Lamar? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, it, yeah, I guess maybe that's like a fake name or some shit like that. But, yeah, and this girl, Charlotte Parks or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, saying he's been my number one spending this too. And I want you guys to pay attention to the emojis. What does she do? The crying, laughing emojis at him. And... Yeah, she has a full a full face of makeup, and she, I this think girl guys is, don't understand. Bro, nah, bro. These girls don't you care. About- and then look, and then see, look. I ran. To- nah, bro. Nah, bro. Some people just have way too much time on their hands. Some people just have way too much time on their hands. So you are. Oh, okay. I, okay. So you out here just just throwing the money willy nilly, just hoping these girls will fall for you, huh? Yeah. Is this the life of a high value man? Really? <laughs> This seems so pathetic. <laughs> Yo, Jack, this low-key kind of pathetic, bro. 
This is a pathetic life. Oh my, who wants to be this? It's my number one spender on OnlyFans. And then look, she also has a crying emoji, Ruby Rose. Scroll down a bit. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Emoji. Like they're all laughing yeah. at him. But guys don't understand. If you're up to OnlyFans, the girl that you're talking to, the girl you hope you're, that you're going to be with, doesn't even like you at all. Actually, they laugh at you all day. And um, you're spending money on them for no reason. So it, it's sad, bro, but this is a reality for most people. Um, that so, lifestyle. Um, <sighs> what do you think about this, bro? I mean, obviously, I know what you think, but like, you want to tell, tell them how you feel? Yeah. Um, so uh, about a year ago, man, uh, I had the idea where I was like, yo, I'm going to write a book, Why Women Deserve Less. <laughs> right? And a big right part here. of the reason why I wrote this book, book right was because here. of the lack of reciprocation of women showing men affection, respect, a uh, admiration, etc., uh, compared to the level of uh, respect, admiration, and resources that men give women. Right? Stop. Stop. No, you ain't about to justify th th this bullshit we saw from this guy with your book, okay? He met her on OnlyFans. What? He spent $60,000 without even getting, without even, bro, no, 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 that's, that's, no, that is not the same thing, okay? So this man is pouring affection and showering love and whatnot, but he's not doing it in a way that, like, it's want of respect. He doesn't even respect himself. So now you're going to try to flip this. Oh, yeah, it's the women. See, guys, this is why I wrote my book. A woman is never going to reciprocate the love that you give her. That bitch is selfish. She took everything. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we live in a, in a time nowadays where the average woman does not respect the average man because the average woman is able to garner far more resources, far more attention, far more opportunities than the average man is able to garner. That's just a fact of, the, of, of what's going on nowadays. Men used to be respected. Nowadays, they're admonished. If you're a blue worker, uh, a blue collar worker, mm. right? You work at a steel mill. You have a respectable job. You're an electrician, etc. Women don't respect that anymore, yeah. right? Um, and the reason why is because who they the have their own job. They think sitting in an air conditioned office making fifty. Who the fuck do you to say that? You don't even know. You don't even know. K per year. You know, while you're working a real job making hundred k per year, they still think that they're better than you. And then you want to take it to the next level where you got you got these sex worker type chicks on the internet. Literally degrading themselves, still thinking they're better than you, right? And I wrote this book so that men could wake up and understand the new normal that we currently live in, the new what? sexual marketplace, where no, women no don't respect men in general. Mm. And since women don't respect men in general, men need to adapt and move differently. No. Women don't respect men that aren't worthy of respect. I'm sorry. You trying to take this OnlyFans bozo, all right, and what he's doing. First of all, most average dudes are not going to get on that weirdo shit, okay? It's only the fucking incels you deal with, which I find hypocritical that you're even going down this rant. But, I, I, again, it just shows you don't know anything. You're, you're, you're Either you're dumb or you're purposely being misleading. That's not how that situation works, bro. The guy isn't respecting himself. That's the big problem. If he respected himself, he wouldn't be meeting girls on OnlyFans. I don't even have an OnlyFans account. I, I'm sure most respectable men out there don't. It, you, most people that found out for this shit, and I've always wondered, like, who are these people feeding these women money, bro? And then you look, and it's like, oh, is the same people preaching about the antidote to cure the OnlyFans disease are the ones facilitating men to sign up for OnlyFans? Okay, that makes sense. It's it's your weirdos. It's your camp. You need to be talking to your fans. Maybe stop doing the after hours show. Oh wait, you can't do that because that doesn't bring views or money. I just I you see, you see how he's trying to promote his book. Just, just, just the arrogance on this guy. Tradcons get angry at me. Oh, you're a misogynist. You're an asshole. You're telling guys to date women from a defensive stance. You're making it very adversarial. Well, guess what, motherfucker? It is adversarial. What? I want guys to give women less because women, <laughs> most women do deserve less. Does every single girl deserve less? Absolutely not. But a majority of them do, okay? And if guys don't come in giving women less up front, they're going to do stupid shit like this and treat them poorly. Hey, yo, 
Hey, listen, listen, listen. Do all women deserve less? No, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them less. That's what it is. All right, we got, we gotta give them less because you come in and giving them more. Okay, they're not gonna give you the same respect if you give them less. This is what I'm saying. Women deserve less. <laughs> I can't believe Buddy just tried to justify that. Listen, bro, I, I, what do you even say to this? <laughs> like, I, yo, chat, what do you say to this? I, 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 I'm i so confused. What do you say to this, bro? This guy, this guy clearly does not either under, doesn't understand women or doesn't like women because I, I don't. Either you're being on purpose because you, you're you being delusional on purpose because you don't like women or you're being ignorant because you don't understand women. I, which one is it, Marion? I don't understand what the fuck you say. That's why you got to buy the book. All right. You got to give women less up front because if you give them less up front, then they can't take advantage of you. Huh? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. Ah, I got a headache, Chad. I don't know if I can do this. I actually got a headache. Oh my god, I'm, I, yo, I be putting this stuff on mute and I be cracking my ass off, bro. Like, my head hurts. This is crazy. Let's shout out to you for the five dollars super chat. It says, uh, Pearl has a Nigerian name, King Omatsola, uh, the royal African king to replace King Richard. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of King Richard, we got another video coming up on him. All right, we're gonna have to listen, listen. Listen, King Richards, dog, how you gonna sit there and talk about, look at all these channels, yeah? You get me, bruv, huh? You get me, yeah? All right, they always talk about other channels and other people, yeah? You get me, bruv, yeah? You get me, all right? So uh, when I over here talking about people and motivational stuff and helping people, I actually save people's lives out here! You get me, yeah, bruv, huh? You I save lives out here! I got people out here, you get me, who can tell me all the time I save lives out here! Yeah, all right, but you get the stupid YouTubers. Uh, you got these YouTubers and all they're doing is these reaction videos talking about me all day. Come to find out, dude, he over here talking about destiny and his relationship and shit. It's like, oh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, I see what it is. Oh, so now you're doing the drama shit too, talking about another man and his relationship. Mm. Oh, God. King Richards. Okay. Hey, hey listen. <laughs> you, you, you talk about oh, you, you, you're the motivational king. Hell no, nah, nigga. You a drama queen. Get the fuck out of here. All right? You you in the trenches with us, motherfucker. That's what it is. So I hate it when these when these wannabe tards out here talking about, they're trying to act like they're better than us. See, you, you guys talk about me all day. Well, I talk about success and motivation. And then come to find out, you flip to the channel. Hey, look at Destiny's relationship and how it didn't work out. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's something that I would do. Wait, time out now. Or, 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 I don't expect to see this type of content on your channel, King Riches. I see. I don't trust these people. They're just fucking liars, bro. And they use these these weirdo tactics to try to take you down, and they end up embarrassing themselves because this is the exact type of content they know that works. So get the fuck out of here with that shit. But let me continue. He says, um, but Riches has a very thick. Oh no, no, Riches, but has a very thick Nigerian accent, and he was boxing in a ring. Maybe. Um, let's see. We, we gotta check it out. Can you send me a link? By the way, I'm, I want to see what this new man looked like for Pearl. <laughs> Super rare with the two dollar super chat says blaming the women and coping to endure facts. They're just blaming women and just how Myron just turned it out to the woman's fault. It, it's Ruby Rose's fault. Like, huh? You're not gonna blame the guy that just gave her sixty thousand dollars for no reason in a month. Okay, let's just blame Ruby Rose for this. What you guys are experiencing right now, obviously at a crazy level, is when you give women good treatment, like these guys are doing. Hold the right? fucking show. Can we get a W in the chat for Mezzo Kareem for being a member on the channel? Welcome to the Duke the Don family, Mezzo Kareem. I appreciate you being here, bro. Thank you so much. Let's get the W in the chat for our new family member. Let's welcome him in. All right. Shout out to you. Right? Which, where they're simping, right? They're giving way too much good treatment. Women don't respect it. As a matter of fact, they laugh at it and they ridicule you. This guy probably has some type of mental disorder. Something's wrong with this guy. Yeah. Maybe he lacks confidence. Maybe he lacks friends. Maybe he lacks some type of support group or whatever it is. But Ruby Rose went ahead and said, you know what? This guy spent 100, 100K on me. Instead of me just holding these text messages in and being like, I, I even though this guy's a little weird, I'm appreciative, though, that someone actually gives a fuck about me to this degree what? and is spending this kind of money on me and giving this, me this kind of attention. Let me put him on fucking blast. 
You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. You sound stupid, bro. If somebody was doing that, you're automatically in a weirdo category. And matter of fact, it would probably be in my best interest to put you on blast because I don't know what's going to happen to me, bro. Especially dude randomly bumping into her, randomly bumping into her in a hotel room or a hotel, whatever. That's not random. You don't send $60,000 to somebody and then randomly bump into them like that. That's not normal. That's our normal thing. So, yeah, you put him on blast because if all of a sudden Ruby Rose goes the way of uh, Mercedes uh, 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 Mercedes Moore or whatnot, all right, all of a sudden now we're all going to be sitting there on the internet. Oh, man, I wish we did something. I wish we knew. We're going to be like, oh, I wish we did this and did this. But she's taking action now. Block him, expose him. Let everybody know, hey, this guy's lurking. And you know what? Her doing that made other women come forward and say, hey, he sent me money too. Hey, <laughs> y'all see this? No, people like that, you leave them on red and you contact the authorities. That's what you do. All right. I would even go a step further and just give the money back. But look how Myron is fucking uh, sitting here talking about, oh, yeah, you, you show them all this appreciation. And at the end of the day, they're just going to shame you for it. Instead of the, instead of Ruby Rose just quietly holding those clearly uh, uh, stalkerish, abusive messages to herself, okay, she decides to just expose him. Why, why couldn't she just hold those messages to herself out of the respect that the guy gave her thousands of dollars? Yo, I'm, I'm actually dumbfounded that this guy worked at Homeland Security and he was protecting children, and you couldn't see an obvious fucking nutbag from this. This guy's insane. He's got a few screws loose, bro. He needs to be in a nice room with soft walls. That's where he needs to be, okay? Maybe with a stray jacket. I don't know. Whatever. All right? But he needs help. Even you admitted that. So why would she need to keep messages like that if you, my Rick, can see a guy like that clearly has mental problems? Why would she? Yeah, she's going Let's expose him. Hey, put it out there. I, I don't know this guy. He's over here talking about he loved me and shit, sent me money, and now he's getting mad because I'm not responding. Like, I, I don't know what's happening. And then he ran into me at a hotel. I, I don't know. Y'all, I'm putting this out there just in case. She even put SOS. Are you that tone deaf, Myron? This is crazy, bro. I can't believe he had that crazy ass take. Yo, you go, you go, Jake Shotzi for the five dollars, which says it's bashing women for looking down on a man earning less. Coming from a man looking down on men earning less than him. Yeah, I remember the Tim Pool BS facts. Man, this shit is just weird. I, I, I don't understand this, bro. Like, I've told y'all this a million times. I'm going to say it again. Women have an abundance mindset to another fucking level. What? The fact that she has the gall, the, the gall. audacity to put up the text messages, the private text messages between her and a fan that spent a lot of money on her, by the way, to embarrass and ridicule him tells you the current marketplace temperature when it comes to male and female relations. You're fucking retarded. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. The panda bear is out of the box. Look, whoa. So that's the only reason a woman would have put him on blast after he spent so much money? It's not that the guy's a creep and he's 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 messaging all these crazy things to the girl? Like, well, whoa. I like how you just make it a one-sided ordeal. I'm sorry, bro. If my daughter came to me and said, hey, dad, some dude sent me $5,000 and he's he's texting me weird shit. You best believe I'm getting authorities involved. We getting authorities involved. Are you kidding me? The fuck is wrong with you? So safety is not a, a big deal in your book. Like, yeah, you know, she, she how dare she just expose him like that? That don't make any sense. I mean, she should have just kept her mouth shut. That's what she could have done. See, it's guys like you. I, listen, I might, I might have to say this, bro, but it's it, when I hear stuff like this, these are the kind of people that would support domestic violence bro right there'd be kind of people they'll just say no 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 no. you 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 gotta you gotta endure it yeah matter of fact don't they hang out with a guy that that said he has that a woman has to endure domestic violence and that don't they hang out with mld yeah that's your buddy that's your pal ain't it you got look good friends over here right I mean, what is this so safety is not a concern just oh, how dare she expose him i would too like, listen, that that, 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 that people don't just send you sixty thousand dollars in a month if they don't want something. That, that that's not like you, that, that just shows you how naive either you're naive or you're pandering right now. I don't, I don't know what it is, but some name right with this statement, bro. This is creepy as fuck hearing this from Marvin. Okay, even if you put her on the pedestal like this motherfucker did to the highest level, they will never, ever fucking respect because you. it's not respectable, they're, dummy. They're gonna treat you like shit. They're gonna ridicule you. They're gonna make you look fucking crazy. So the only thing you can do is adapt to the new normal, baby. You gotta fucking give these girls less and put some fucking respect on your name. That's what?
that's all you got from this Ruby Rose situation? That's all. That's the lesson you've learned from this entire situation. Not that this guy clearly needs help and probably shouldn't be behaving like this. Maybe the lesson should be: Hey, fans. Hey, audience. Don't don't right off the bat spend sixty k on a woman, okay? That you barely know, okay? Just don't do that. No, no. The lesson you took from this Myron is that a woman, no matter how much you give them, is gonna humiliate you. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. You're saying that she doesn't respect him, but what has he done thus far that's respectable? Give her money that clearly he shouldn't have. What 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 did what he do that was respect? He couldn't even stand his own ground when he got mad. I would not tolerate this. You ignoring me and then immediately apologize for it. What what is there respectable about that? Like this is weird. Like this, Myron's rant is insane right now. I don't think he understands how crazy he's being, bro. Look at look at him. Look at him. He actually thinks he's doing something. That's what you got to do. That's what you have to do. Guys need to start dating from a defensive standpoint and assume every single girl's a whore. What? Yes, I'm, yes I fucking said it. What is this? <laughs> what is this, chat? What am I watching? Hey, chat, what am I? What, what is this? What, what am I watching? What, what, I, what is this? Wait, just assume every woman is a whore? Okay, th that's great advice, Myron. <laughs> okay, just, just, just great advice. Fantastic advice. The next time I run to a girl, I'm just going to assume she's a whore, right? Why not? Yeah, I, you, a great way to keep a relationship or even land one. You know, I'm just, just assume every woman is a whore. That's it. Just go with that. Wow. Are you thinking these guys are for you? I don't even think Myron is for women. I, I think he's for men in a whole different kind of way, if you know what I mean. Because that what just came out of his mouth, wow. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Guys, I, okay, I got to interject here. Do not assume every woman is a whore because she's a woman. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. This guy's take is absolutely horrible. Please, you will lose. I Listen, I'm almost willing to guarantee you right now you will lose if you start with that assumption. You're not going to win anything, bro. That's crazy, buddy, just said that shit. That's crazy. Assume she's a whore unless she proves to you otherwise. Because the reality is, the way things are, girls think that they're better than you, man. I'm telling y'all, there's girls on TikTok right now mm -hmm. putting out text messages of themselves with other guys making fun of guys. It's okay and totally socially acceptable to shit on men in 2023. It's completely cool. As a matter of fact, you grow in the algorithm when you do it. Yeah. People say, well, Myron, you shit on women. Well, here's the thing. Most women deserve to be shit on. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> wow. Yeah, you just conveniently, just, just conveniently excuse my behavior, right? No, no, no I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shame women for shitting on men. But, hey, well, you shit on women. But Listen, it's okay to shit on women. How convenient. <laughs> just how, how, how wonderfully convenient, bro. It's almost like your fucking worldview lacks consistency. I, I, I wonder why these men are failing in life. But there's no consistency there, bro. Wow, bro. Like, again, it's do as I say, not as I do, right? It just goes to show you, if these guys got the same treatment that they're giving other people, they couldn't handle it, right? He's, he's over here justifying why it's okay for him to shit on women, okay? But... It's not okay for women to do the same for men. I don't get these people, bro. Like, I don't understand this sometimes. Yo, M. Dot, shout to you for the $10 super chat. M. Dot says, Myron complained about Ruby Rose exposing an obsessed fan. Being labeled a weirdo is funny because Anna Queen exposed Myron for soliciting sex to come on the podcast. Facts. That's what I was saying. A lot of these men, the reason... Hey, yo, yo, M. Dot, M. Dot, M. Dot, M. Dot. We got to talk about this, okay? The reason why a lot of these men are going so hard to protect the weirdo incel that's sending these women money is because they see themselves in that man. That is that. Matter of fact, hold up. Let me show you this clip real quick. I think I still have this clip. Remember that clip I saved from a long time ago where Fresh and Fit basically admitted that their audience were made up of simps. Matter of fact, there was this one simp that was paying all this money to insult one of the OnlyFans girls on their shows. And then one day he didn't show up. It turns out he actually flew the girl out. So basically, right, this guy came on the show and he was talking smack to every single girl. Oh, she looks bad. Oh, she's a four. Da, da, da. This is a same guy doing it thousands of dollars, right? hundred dollars each time. He found this one girl on the show, Colombian chick, right? You know what I mean? And uh, he was like, 
he didn't that whole show he didn't super chat at all i was like is this guy dead is he okay no he shows up this time to talk shit to, gr- to girls right lo and behold we found out from from our producer that um he actually dm the girl flew her out to texas took her out for like a week or two said hey i want you to be my girlfriend my this is the same guy that said to every single girl oh you're no good you're lesser than men so they were on the show <laughs> But Sometimes, guess what? Yeah, we began like Simpson here, like watching us yeah. just for that. But think about this, right? He just met her, wanted to be her boyfriend. It's like these guys, they talk a lot of smack and they pretend behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, sorry, behind the computer. But deep down, they're the ones sipping the hardest. Yeah. It's, they talk a lot of smack and they pretend behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, sorry, behind the computer. But deep down, they're the ones sipping the hardest. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to find that video online. They deleted it a long time ago. This was when Fresh and Fit were on the up and up. All right? We were on they next, and we still on they next. They know who their audience are. Don't let them fool you. Because they've been shitting on men for fucking decades. Since the beginning of feminism, since the fucking 60s, girls have been running around saying, we're power, we're, you know, women power, we're strong, we're independent, blah, blah, blah. Shitting on men for fucking decades men have been emasculated we've been getting shitted on we've been getting shit on with sitcoms they're going ahead m- making um traditionally masculine characters female now you look at the new grand theft auto why is it a female character why did they want a black james bond female why did they have the terminator lead character be a fucking woman why are they continuously destroying naturally masculine things for this new feminized propaganda, it's because they're trying to destroy masculinity in the West in general. Yeah. Because when- uh, no, because it's a woman's market right now. Women spend money, and corporations notice that. That, that and so why y'all sitting there talking about oh women aren't debt? Yeah, because they spend a lot of money in the economy. That's why a lot of companies cater to them, right? There's no surprise you're seeing movies and all that stuff, even including them when you start seeing the LGBT uh, Q or T or whatnot stuff out there right now, is because these guys have massive lobbying groups. Okay, where are the lobbying groups for the men? I keep asking this. It's the money, Lebowski. That's what's making these corporations head spin. Okay, they're not looking at it and say, oh, wow. Yeah, you know what? I want to go ahead and shove this agenda right down the the, 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 the face of people, right? Let, let's go ahead and do that. No, a lot of times because the LGBTQ lobby is a very powerful. They have a very strong lobby, okay? So, yeah, they have people going into corporations. They have people going there doing outreach and activities out there. Where are the men? Where are the men doing this for other men out there? Instead, we have guys pretending online doing this stuff, and then you wonder why the agenda is one-sided. You can have your own agenda, too. You just have to put your money where your mouth is. But we don't do that. But we know what we do see? We see women doing it. Oh, women have no problem spending money. And no matter what, whatever collective cause it is, if it, if it matters to them passionately, they will do it. They don't have a problem organizing, getting to the point where they can be embedded in corporations to go ahead and put, pursue that agenda. Listen, bro, like I used to think you see be a lot of these conspiracy stuff, but when you work in a North Cop corporations and you see enough people from representing certain agencies come through, right? They're uh, the people that represent so many nonprofits that come in and speak to directors or they'll call in and you'll see them. You see how they move. You'll see how they move, bro. They're coming in and they're petitioning for your support. And a lot of corporations, because not, not, not a lot of people are doing it and they want to do some charity stuff, they go ahead and sign on. But when these red pillars see it, they think it's like, oh, this this interconnected agenda to go ahead and do this stuff. Look at the ESG scores. It's, it's, it's not it, bro. It's not it, bro. A lot of corporations think they have the bead because they are being lobbied heavy by those groups. If you guys want your agenda to come to pass, then start a lobbying group. All right. Not just to lobby government, but start an activist group that go ahead and go into corporations, not being weirdos, but actually speak on the act the rights of men or whatever you want to do. Right. Hey, we want Disney to do something else. Pay them. Pay them, and you'll see how quick things change. A lot of y'all don't realize that. You instead, y'all are paying these OnlyFans models and complaining about it. Where's the money in the collective organization? If we did that, guarantee ain't no power on earth gonna stop us. Ain't no power. But y'all just sitting here letting your money. This guy is willing to drop a hundred thousand dollars like that on a woman that didn't pay attention to him, and that money could have gone far. The average lobbying firm costs about five thousand dollars a month. Guy just dropped a hundred thousand dollars on a girl that didn't even pay attention to him. Just saying, bro, where are your priorities at? 
So we get shit on these women. We get shit on these uh, LGBT groups. We get shit on them all day long. But where's our activist group? Where's our lobbying firm? We ain't got shit. That's what it is. So then we see their agendas getting carried through. Now we're complaining because we're not doing shit to counteract that. These guys are so they're just blaming everybody. Just point the finger here, point the finger there. You need to point the finger here, right here. You're not doing enough but pretending to. A uh, misfortunate console. Shout out to you in the 2000s chat. Misfortunate says, uh, does this apply to the women in his family? I don't know. I don't know. Does my even have women in his family? We don't know. Because, like, the way he talking to me and talking about, oh, just think about a woman as a whore. Yeah, all women are whores. <laughs> Why not? It's like, God damn, bro. That's crazy. A lady shout out to you for the two dollars chat. A lady says, I'm sure Miami has shat on a woman, literally. Facts. I won't be surprised. He looks like the guy to be into some uh, some uh, wacky three-finger type shit. I'm, I'm just being real. He seems like that kind of guy. Mezzo Kareem with the $10 super chat. Let's get that W in the chat for Mezzo. Appreciate it. It says, dating is adversarial for Myron because women can smell the scent of residual corn <laughs> emanating from his mouth. <laughs> they want nothing to do with them. Myron's looking for a beard. Insert mash my mouth on that. Yeah, he's looking for his man. He misses his man, bro. Who, who's that dude, the Eric guy? He missing Eric right now. He need Eric on his team. <laughs> he need Eric to come in the middle of the night and jump on his bed. <laughs> That's what he needs right now. Yo, shout out to you. Yo, you go with the five dollars of He says, when has putting your partner on a pedestal ever earned you respect? This has always worked against you. You should never do this in a relationship. But that's a, But here's the thing. You, you, you go. You go. You understand. This situation he's using to try to turn it into the partner stuff wasn't even a relationship material. The guy was, he met her on OnlyFans. It, it, listen, people's relationships are different, right? There's some relationships I've seen where dudes would just be showering the girls with love and you see the love being showered back because that's the way they talk. That's their love language, right? The words of affirmation, they like it both ways. So it is what it is. So you see that stuff. And, you know, there's you see other couples where, you know, they like doing things where it was just more of, okay, I, I just I like certain activities to show me that you you care, right? Like just certain things. Maybe we go out, do things, or you do certain things here and there, or stuff like that, right? And some of the couples they expect you to be mind readers, and I don't know how that works out, but they tend to do it tend to happen sometimes. All right, it's just different dynamics all over the place. But the dynamic we're talking about specifically is this weirdo who's spending sixty thousand dollars on a girl that's not even his woman. Okay, so we're already not starting from a good premise to begin with. She's not your girlfriend, bro. You met her on OnlyFans. She's everybody's girl. <laughs> I mean, anybody who's got the, the money to pay for it. He just thought if he gave a little bit more bread, he would stand out above the rest. That's what he thought. That's what he thought. Even so much so, he was willing to show out another $400,000 if she just responds to him. I mean, we're not looking at the same situation here. I mean, if you have a wife or a girlfriend, if you're in a relationship, with a wife, and you have to pay her to pay attention to you, chances are something was wrong at the start of the relationship. Matter of fact, before you even got to that relationship. Because typically, normal relationships don't work that way, right? So that's why I find it cringe that Myron is taking that scenario and applying it to scenarios that would apply to relationships because that guy was never in a relationship. He's a stalker. He, he's what you would classify as a stalker. You barely know her. She never sat down and had a moment of vulnerability with you. She never sat down and, you know, got to know you or you got to know her. You don't even know the deepest parts of her. You just start. He's just starstruck. He doesn't know anything about her. So if you don't listen, if somebody don't know anything about me coming up here, I love you. Oh, my God. I love you. I'm like, hey, hey. What, what, what the hell? What's, what's the matter with you? You don't know me. <laughs> you better be good, good, good. Hey, nah. No, no. You, you love the idea of me. You don't you don't love me because you don't know me. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's crazy. That's what this guy is. He loves the idea of her. The fact that she's a star. The fact that she's beautiful. Right? He loves the idea of her, but he doesn't know her. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I, the fact that Fresh and Fit is making that out to be something different. It's just, it's just what manipulates and radicalizes a bunch of these men who are incels to think that all oh, women, no matter what you do, are never going to appreciate you. It's, it's not true. It's, it's not true. <laughs> it's, it's really not true. When you destroy the men, you're able to conquer society. Why? Because women, right? If you tell them, hey, take the jab. Hey, sit in your house and put a mask on. What are they going to do a lot of times? Okay, I will obey. I will obey. Because women aren't leaders. Okay? 
if you take away the men and all you leave is a bunch of masculine ass females, you can dominate the society. And that's what the fuck is going on right now. Wait, 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 okay? wait, 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 huh? Hold up. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, Myron, repeat that. Put a mask on. What are they going to do a lot of times? Okay, I will obey. I will obey. Because women aren't leaders. Okay? If you take away the men and all you leave is a bunch of masculine ass females, you can dominate the society. And that's what the fuck is going on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The masculine ass females. What is going through your weird ass gappy hairline mind right now? What, what is he doing, bro? <laughs> what are you, you just dreaming of a world with masculine women? Like, what, what, what's happening, Myron? You're just saying a bunch of shit that don't make sense. First is the box of dicks. Now this? What is wrong with you, bro? On right now. Mm -hmm. OK, and when you see shit like this, this is the beginning of it. You got guys like over here pedestalizing these females that are fucking whores, degenerates, losers like Ruby Rose, talentless skanks. Wow. Right? Talentless fucking skanks. <laughs> wow. That's the fucking truth. Talentless skank. Been in the music industry since 2016. Had to make a fucking uh, with Amigos music video. Got a big break that no guy would ever get. What does she do? Damn. Let me make OnlyFans because I may, can't really become successful any other way. I got to fucking sexualize myself. Her and Asian doll, dumbass hoes. That's what they have to do. Wow. And I said this shit on Instagram too. Sorry, not Instagram. Twitter. I said this shit on Twitter. Yeah. I said a female, a, a man that has 10,000 followers on Instagram is the equivalent to a female with like 250K, if not more. That, that ain't true. Got retweet. Even Andrew uh, retweeted it because it's the truth. Men must provide value to grow on social media. Men must provide value to have a platform on the internet. Women don't. They can literally. This seems like I'm watching a bunch of grown men bitch about how hard it is to get to get clout on the internet. <laughs> is, is this is this what we come down to? Is this is this what the world has come down to? What is this? What what is this? It just sounds like hating, bro. You, you sound like you're a hater. Oh, I got to work hard because of a man. Oh, well, we got to put those big muscles and brain to work. Now, don't we? <laughs> I mean, we, we, I mean, that's what we used to justify why we should be on top, right? So why are we now complaining that women have it easy? I, oh, my God. Just how you just say, oh, these talentless girls and these talentless hacks and these talent. Like, bro, what? Look at your partner. I, I want to call talentless. Look at him. What, what, what would you call fresh? Like, well, what are we what are we talking about here? Just a vitriol, bro. Post like, a dumbass picture of themselves at a beach with like a dumbass caption. Life's the beach. I'm just playing in the sand. Say some dumb shit like that. <laughs> Hundred thousand fucking likes, bro. Hundred thousand likes. They have no skill. Most of these chicks, bro. Double standard. So what I'm saying is this, guys. Where are we at? Women in general don't respect men. If you pedestalize them like these fucking idiots, they ridicule you, embarrass you on social media. Right? And they did this to a guy that's paying their fucking bills. What? <laughs> what the fuck was even that? He said, oh, <laughs> he got the little gremlin like <laughs> Is it that little gremlin freaking giggle he had, bro? What the fuck was that? Yo, Porsche 911 fans, I'll take with a $2 super chat. He says, Duke, look for the email from Magic Chibu. Okay, fine. I, I got you. I got you. Actually, let me pull that up right now, bro. Because I definitely want to get more details on your uh, on your uh, progress here, man. You got, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you keeping me up to date, by the way. Did you send it already? Uh, I don't see it. I got my email pull right now. I'll be on the lookout for it. I'll be on the lookout for it, but I don't see it right now. Let me, hold on. Let me just check my, let me check my spam real quick. You know, the shit be going to spam. I don't see it in the email yet. Um, it should be dukeindani at gmail.com. But yeah, I, I'm on the lookout for it, bro. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate it. Let's continue. Did this to a guy that's paying their fucking bills. If they're going to do that to him, what the fuck you think they're going to do to you? <laughs> that's what I'm telling you how to date defensively and treat. And, yo, you literally got to be out here fucking. I kind of I, I keto these hoes, man, because they have such a they, they have such an advantage in the dating marketplace and they have such a date uh, advantage with social media and everything else. You got to come in. Correct. You got to go in with your eyes wide open. That's why these tricons are saying, just be a gentleman. Chivalry is the way to go. Marry that girl. Yeah, she deserves the world. You can't do that shit no more. You can't. <laughs> if they're over here disrespecting fans that pay their fucking bills, what the fuck you think she's going to do to you? <laughs> Seriously. Why women deserve less? I don't give a fuck if you have to, if you uh. got the book. Just understand this. Okay? I don't even promote the book like that. 
But I made the book because of shit like this. I'm tired of watching men get shit on. I'm tired of looking at guys like this dude that clearly needs fucking help, but now he's going viral for being a fucking simp because of- Whoa! So wait a minute. This is so disingenuous. You acknowledge that this guy needs help. You acknowledge that he needs help. So you're not going to call the obvious an obvious, right? Maybe this is the wake-up call he needs. So instead, she should just keep it to herself. So what if she kept it to herself and he didn't learn a damn thing and kept messaging her, but she kept ignoring him, but she kept it to herself. And then before we know it, we hear on the news, Ruby Rose was uh, accidentally deleted in her room today or found deleted along with another guy downstairs who was also deleted as well. Authorities tend to uh, think that this guy was a former fan of hers and things just did not work out too well. Is that the news we want to wait to hear? I'm sure we would all rather know who the fuck is out there doing this kind of stuff. And maybe this should serve as a lesson to other people who want to think twice about making a huge embarrassment of themselves like that to make sure that, hey, you know, some of these girls, maybe you don't want to come out dropping $100,000 like that. You may look like an idiot. Matter of fact, you will look like an idiot. But instead of holding the man accountable, oh, no, mental illness. Mental illness. Okay. But, Ruby, you're horrible. You're horrible for putting him on blast. You're just the worst kind of woman. That that that's that's why I wrote my book. Women deserve less. Okay, I wrote this book for y'all niggas. All right, even though you started this shit. Okay, this is for you because she's not gonna appreciate you. It's like, bro, you sound retarded. Like you sound so dumb, bro. Yo, I see it. I see it. I see your. I see your email. Uh, portion on eleven fan. Shout out to you. I got it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna be uh, review this right away. Some dumbass slut thought it would be cool to embarrass a motherfucker on the internet that spent money on her and is paying her bills, bro. The fucking gall and audacity of her to do this. She's a shitty fucking person for doing this shit. All she had to do was withhold those text messages, say thank you, I appreciate it, block his ass, whatever the fuck it is, and be done. But instead, what does she do? She goes to Twitter, she embarrasses him, makes him look wild, puts his picture out there. Now everyone's laughing at him. She didn't have to fucking do that. But she's a shitty ass person. And here's wow. the thing, I got the dirt on her. I know a girl that used to live in her fucking building. She's a piece of fucking shit. Whoa. Treats the staff poorly, fucking caused an altercation with her boyfriend, Lil TJ, downstairs, etc. I got the fucking dirt on her, man. Terrible person, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised when you do shit like this for clout and internet uh, for um internet fame, whatever, to ridicule a guy that might not be all the way there that spent a bunch of money on you that fucking loves you. Clearly sounds wrong with this nigga, but still for you to do that shit to him, crazy, bro. Shitty fucking person. Shitty fucking person. Wow, bro. Hey, thank you for letting us know how you feel, bro. Wow. Whoa. If she blocked him, my dude, you would be out here screaming the same thing. Oh, he, he, you know, see, man, this is why you got to buy my book. Buy my book, because even, even, even you spend money on her, she still will block you. Yo. Yo. Yo, Myron. Yo, this you need help. I, I, I'm starting to think, bro, you need help. Are you okay? <laughs> you all right? I know it's been, it's been a tough week so far, all right? People be calling you out on some things, okay? But you all right? What is this? What, what am I watching, bro? What, what, what? Damn. And the dude thought he was spitting. That's why I was saying this was such a hilarious rant that he went on. He actually thought he was spitting facts. Bro, you're exposing yourself. Your fans. You, you've built an audience base that pander to OnlyFans women. Your fans are OnlyFans fans. They're these guys. So you sitting here blaming Ruby Rose. You're fostering these men. They're going to end up paying Ruby Rose all these kind of money anyways. Like, I don't get it. You, you you think you're getting somewhere with this? You sound like an idiot. So, you made a good point. No, he didn't. Um, she blasted him, putting it everywhere on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, it's going viral. But we forgot to mention why she didn't actually withhold it. Two reasons. One, she wants the clout 100%. That's pretty obvious. But two is, guarantee, bro, right now, either in her phone or from her past, She's gonna win more money from guys, either up front or in the long run. So to her, it's like you know what, hundred k is fine, whatever. I don't need it. I got many, many that's a bonus mindset. So now a yep. bonus mindset. Yep. Oh, you know what? This is funny. I got some clout. I'm post this shit. 
Yep. But I'm sure there's NBA players, football players out there giving her a hell of money too as well. Yeah. So I think on some level, I get why she did it with him because obviously speaking, she don't care fuck, fuck about him. But two, she's been other options out there giving her money. But you know it's what's sad, crazy? It's sad. You know what's crazy? Yeah. There's a there's a Twitter called Women Posting L's. Mm. Let me uh, uh, and I and I really how, want... how, did, how did you find that? I didn't know there was a Twitter. <laughs> it's women posting L's. You just randomly following Twitter accounts of women posting L's. You a grown ass man, bro. Like this crazy as hell. The audience understand this. I know this man. Huh? <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Yo, even fresh had to call you out. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I didn't even know there was a twist. <laughs> I didn't even know that thing existed, bro. <laughs> Yo, Twitch just brought up casually. Oh yeah, so this is for the account of uh, women taking L's. <laughs> that, huh? Wait, how do you know about that? <laughs> Yo, hey, I'm gonna give a dub to Fresh on that. All right, Fresh with the common sense over here, because I'm like, I was thinking the same thing. How the hell did you know about that? <laughs> I didn't know there was a Twitter just for women taking L's. Are you looking for that kind of nonsense? What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I follow it, nigga. That shit's awesome. <laughs> I'll be retweeting them niggas all the time. <laughs> women posting L's, man. That shit is funny as fuck. But this is what. But this is why I say this. Mm. Ruby Rose posted that shit thinking it makes her look good. It doesn't. It makes her look fucking like a shitty ass person. Damn. It makes bro. her look fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. But this is the problem. Wow. Why do we have Ruby Rose posting a conversation, a private conversation with an individual that pays her money, a fan, right? Why do we have women going on TikTok talking about how they got a guy that goes to them? Why do we got women on TikTok saying, oh, yeah, I'm 35 and I'm single and they use like some dumbass mashup shit to show themselves living their single life, traveling all over the world to cope for the fact that they're fucking 40 years old and still single and got cats, right? Myron, is this what you do on your free time? <laughs> is this literally what you do on your free time, bro? Just watching women live their lives on a Twitter account talking about women taking L's? Oh, no. This is worse than I thought. <laughs> this shit right here is called obsession, dog. Why do we have women just out there posting shit on the internet mm -hmm. of themselves doing stupid shit, but thinking that it's a W? You want to know why? Because we don't tell women the truth. You're a fucking idiotic moron whore, Damn. and you can't lock down a guy. You need to make better life choices. We don't tell women the truth, which is why they have the gall to post the shit on the internet that they do. Could you imagine if any of us walked around bro. and posted on TikTok? Yeah, man. I went on this date with this chick. Spent a bag. What the fuck? Damn, man. But I ain't getting no pussy, oh. man. She just like took the food and went home. And she just said later. <laughs> and we put that shit on TikTok. Bro, we'll be viral <laughs> tomorrow. People yeah. would be roasting us. It'd be a wrap, right? Yeah. But girls get on TikTok. So I went out with this guy, and you know, we had a date. I thought he really liked me, and, blah, 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 and he just stopped contacting me. I don't know what to do. But women are totally okay with posting their L's on the internet or doing the dumb shit on the internet because it's no one checks them. With men, there's checks and balances. We tell each other, You're a pussy, you're fat, you're a loser, you're incompetent. We ridicule each other for inadequacies. Women don't do that shit, they don't, right? And to be honest with y'all, the only time I ever see girls like really get held accountable for anything mm -hmm. is if they come on this on podcast, podcast or sometimes some of y'all, I see people post on uh <laughs> on Instagram. Thank yeah. God, thank, Instagram is getting pretty more base. Like girls will post stupid shit on there. Yeah, niggas be commenting. Niggas be commenting and they're roasting them on the reels. That shit is fucking hilarious. It's nigga. So we got an army of dudes out here just following a bunch of women's Instagram, just waiting for them to drop L's. Is, is that what it is? So we got a bunch of dudes with no lives. Just following women on Instagram, just waiting, waiting for them to post some L's and then just jump on that shit. Like, what is this what you live for? Is it is this what success means to y'all red pillars? Just so no real world actual success at all in terms of, you know, creating groups that can help men in the real world. No, no, no. It's just having dudes on the Internet roast women when they post shit online. That's a dub. We need help. <laughs> we, I, I don't know what's happening to this world, bro. But we need help. I don't know what's going on. Niggas from Hoodville, bro. Yeah. Then niggas from Hoodville, they don't play, bro. Yo, I they love it. Roasting I them, love bro. it. Slowly, they be roasting them back, which Shout is great, man. Which, which is great. Yeah. But in general, on social media, mm -hmm. women don't get held accountable for their shit, bro. Which is why Ruby Rose thought it was appropriate to post this shit. Yeah. You know. So, um, all this post does to me, I think it's a big L that she posted this. Like, bro, 
you're a shitty fucking person. This guy clearly has issues. Mm-hmm. And you're over here posting this shit thinking, oh, let me show how desperate this guy is. You saved him in your phone as a, in a, a degrading name. Like, bro, even if he's weird, just block him and be done with it. Why are you posting it on the internet? What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid skank? Club- and I hope she sees this shit. Yo, I hope Ruby Rose sees this shit. You're a fucking dumb whore. You're a skank. You're a loser. You didn't have to post that shit, but you did anyway because you're a clout chasing irrelevant slut. That's Whoa. why you did that dumb shit. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Bro, why? Yo, yeah, bro. Listen, yeah, something wrong with you, dog. I think you need help. <laughs> I think you need help, Myron. Whoa. Like, whoa. I'm, yo, chat, I'm, I'm shocked. This guy has got some real strong emotions for her, man. Yo, FSC shot to you for the $7 super chat. It says, can you get a remote job with an IT certificate? It says, also, Flacco's video on Ruby's was not good. Oh, shit. We got to check it out. Um, It depends on what you want to, uh, what, what certificate, because IT is such a broad field, right? So you got to, okay. So you, like, okay, your basic comp job, right? Your comp TI, Um, you can do a comp TI network plus, right? So, but like, you got to, so to get into like, just that basic help desk, I mean, you know, maybe you don't, you don't need those certifications for help desk. But like typically you with those certifications, you get to know a little bit more about like computers, desktops, maybe installing software, remoting into systems, things like that. Um, maybe it can get you jobs that can work remote. But then usually within help desk, though, um, you have like other fields that you can you can kind of go into. Right. So you can go into like desktop. You can go into like other parts as well. Like I was about like network plus. Right. That, that's stuff that can get you on those basis on like understanding network issues, um, like um, basic port setups and, you know, um, basic network setup and stuff like that. So, like, if IT within it, they have different departments. So, within help desk, you got, like, a field support, for instance. So, if you can be one of those guys, you know, that goes out and, you know, checks what's going on with the, the, the system or the desktop itself, right? There are a lot of things you can do with that, but it starts with a basic certificate. So, the base one you can get is a basic comp um, that can give you the basic overall on, like, um, uh, what you need to know for like help uh, the help desk role, but then once you're in the help desk role, it's all about finding where you want to go from there. If you want to go into networking, if you want to go into desktop, if you want to go into like all these different types of fields, you can even go into web. Um, there most most companies have a web team because so, most companies have websites, so they have a web team to manage that. That's also in IT, so all that goes into uh, into play here. You can go there. There's so like there's so many things, right? Um, so it's just starting off like that. So when you say IT certificate, there there are a bunch of different certificates but i would say the basic of the base level is just your basic uh um, um comp um uh testing you can get that i think you get, i don't i don't know if it's a paid uh, um it's like a, maybe like a couple hundred dollars i don't know where depending on where you live or whatnot but just to get that certification will actually almost certainly land you a good job in it um it's really good i don't know if that's what porsche 911 did per se but i would i think that's what most people should start thinking about doing but it can land you a job in terms of working remotely yeah because when you get into some help that roles depending on where you are you could work remotely um there are other roles maybe you need to be in desktop um for instance i'm in desktop so that that's a lot of roles that i work with so like I, i'm i'm mostly remote most of the time so it's mainly just like software deployments and like maintenance and things like that that i focus on so other than that like that's a remote job if i go into networking uh, depending on what it is that that could be a remote job or a physical job. Let's say if a switch has issues or whatnot, you got to go go to that specific region or that site to go check out what's going on because it's down and you don't have internet. So you can you have, you have to travel. And some of those guys, you know, they don't they don't sleep. They're out there, right? So again, it's a very very broad field, and I could talk about it forever. I, see, this I got to go back on my other channel and do that. Actually, I, I might actually do a video on that breaking all that stuff down. Um, but I, I think IT is a big way to do. It. I know I may not look or sound like it, and I do shows online and whatnot, but I, I am a heavy advocate for stuff like that for it and people getting into that because it's one of the newer ways to start making money help desk alone can get you 24 bucks an hour starting in some places that's a lot of a lot of time i would say that beats trying to start an e-commerce job or e-commerce business online it's just dumb with what these guys are telling you just go get a practical skill right it just makes sense but shout out to you let's continue it's that you would even do that shit like why what the fuck is wrong with you this nigga gave you 100k if you're that mad, block him and move on. I'm not surprised. Fucking I mean, weirdo, man. I mean, uh, honestly, bro, like, in this case, even though he is messed up in the head, and she her, she posted it, look at it this way. 
her doing this is going to tell other girls, okay, I could do this too. Yeah. And the problem is, once yeah. you start doing that, going on that path of exposing guys like that, bro, now but they were creating old, a whole culture. Fresh. There were already other girls he was doing it to before he got the Ruby Rose. And those girls kept it themselves until Ruby Rose said something. What are you talking about? So the first girl that called him out was like, hey, yo, he was sending me money too. He sent me over $100,000. It wasn't until Ruby Rose said something about it. What are you talking about, Fresh? Sure. Actually, you know what's weird about this? Some guy out there will say, you know what? I could beat that. I'll pay more money. Which is crazy, by the way. Yeah. That might happen too as well. So, but either way, that powerful person is And here's up. the other thing too. Like, women don't get it. Like, yo, some niggas are crazy. Like, yeah. you think uh, posting this shit and exposing, oh, yeah, this is funny. <laughs> like, you're an idiot. Why would you do that? Like, if, he, if he's if he's mentally unstable like this, doing this shit, yo, why would you post that? Someone commented and said, the same money you got from him, he has to spend on security now. He's out your ass. <laughs> he's going to be out there your ass. Bro, why are we <laughs> laughing about this? This is a serious situation. First of all, I thought her security was done for. The moment, is this anybody sending you kind of, that kind of money in a month? They're not right in the head. Your security's already done. The moment you accept, accept something like that, you need to be careful. All right? Because if you don't give them what they want... I don't know. You just got to be, you got to watch your back. Okay. But you see, these guys are just sitting there laughing. Now you got to turn that money into security. <laughs> what? So let, let's say she ends up being a murder victim. What are you guys going to say? Oh, she deserves it because she, she put him on blast. You guys are sick people. Like, honestly, uh, y'all are sick, bro. This, this uh, you're just laughing at that. And that was like the first thing I was harping on. Like, yo, Ruby Rose, you got to watch out for your safety. But it shows you these guys don't care about the safety of these women. They don't care. Oh, if something happened to you, <laughs> you're going to watch out. Oh, no. Look, that's funny, bro. Like, that's not funny. That's the whole reason why she put his ass on blast in the first place. Because you don't know what a guy like that can do. Y'all are just, this is disgusting, bro. Meso, shout out to you for the final super chat. Meso says, Myron, <laughs> oh, Myron act. Acts angry and and so as repel women advances and allows him to uh, allows him to have an excuse for being womanless. He scares him. He scares them before they even think to flirt with him. Yo, look at the way he's talking though. Look at the way he's talking. These whores. These bitches. These these ungrateful. Like yo. Like you gotta you gotta chill with that. You, nothing but hate this guy has. Obviously nothing but hate. It's just, it's just, it's just insane. Porsche 911, shout out to you for the two dollars super chat. He says there's a part two coming tomorrow. Preparing for work. Yo, shout out to you. I'm looking for. It. I got your email by the way. I see it. I'm gonna read through it. Um, I can't do it right now because I'm live, but I'm gonna read through it. Uh, expect a reply from me if not tonight, tomorrow morning, bro. I appreciate it, bro. But yeah, I got your email. Um, superhero says um, shout out to you for the two super chat. He says uh, the women hating is intense with this sus dude. Yeah, listen to how he's talking. Who talks like this? It's insane. I'm actually flabbergasted. I'm like, yo, I didn't expect it to be this bad. I only watched like five minutes in, and I'm like, oh, this might be a show. <laughs> and then I kept watching. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, he, he really gets mad in here. And Fresh don't even say nothing. Like, none of this is sus to him at all. Yo, Mezzo with a $10 super chat. Let's get a W for Mezzo in the chat. Yo, shout out to Mezzo. Uh, Mezzo says, Myron has modernized Christianity's version of, the, of gay deconversion therapy. Oh, my God. He says, however, in Myron's version, he's the deconverting man away from women. Yo, yo, this is what it is. Why pay this OnlyFan, bitch? Well, you can pay us. We can save you. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. They will take your money for granted, just like Ruby Rose. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. These dudes will do the exact same thing. They are these OnlyFans women. The only reason they're mad is you giving the money to them and not Fresh and Fit. <laughs> That's the only big difference. If you gave this kind of money to Fresh and Fit, they're not complaining. They're not complaining. Why? The money's already there. Listen, Fresh and Fit managed to build something that most men never thought would be possible, okay? They built an OnlyFans platform for men to follow them, all right? It's crazy. It's actually similar to what P. Diddy did, right? Which is like P. Diddy got a bunch of grown people. He convinced a bunch of grown-ass men to call him Puff Daddy. I think that's a big feat in itself already, all right? No wonder all this such shit is coming out. Any grown-ass man to convince other grown-ass men to call him Puff Daddy and y'all go along with it, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely on some such shit, bro. Like, why are you surprised all this coming out right now? Like, are you surprised, bro? You the one calling him Puff Daddy. There you go right there. There you go. <laughs> How that tastes, nigga. <laughs> Yo, he says, Myra Stico, men will inherit the earth soon. Yeah, dude is thinking he's the, again, these guys think they're some kind of messiah for, um, for red pillars, right? And, and it's, I just think it's so cringe, right? They're they're coming out here acting like they're the savior of men, so much so that they're acting like they're they're, they're literally saving men's lives from the brink of death because of their messaging. It's like, bro, calm down. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. I, I'm just being real with you, bro. It ain't that deep. <laughs> Yo, Kevin Trail with that two dollars super chat. He says it's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm shocked, bro. Honestly, like, listen again. I watched like five minutes into it. He wasn't going as crazy, but like, we're we're what? We're like 28 minutes in right now, and like, yeah, you can see the mask come off, bro. It's it's, it's weird. Like, uh, you like women, but you talk to them like that. Like, imagine all women are sluts or horse. It's like. I don't know. That's not what comes to mind when I, when I when I deal with a woman. Like, if I had that kind of mentality, I would never be successful in a relationship at all. If I had the mentality that all women were whores before I even met them, what's the point of even talking to them? Like, it, it, this is such a warped, fucked up mentality, man. It is ridiculous, Kevin. Like, it really is. It's true, though. Like, you know, I, obviously, I wish nothing, uh, you know, on her. But, yeah. like, bro, you can't do dumb shit like this. Yeah. <sighs> fuck is wrong with people bro what's wrong with you like you I, and the thing to me thank you man but like yo like and the thing is too is that like like she thinks this is a w like no this is a l like th you posting this is a l you're already an l for being on only fans you're a fucking sex worker all right you're a failed <laughs> musician sex worker all right you got your break by being in a music video and not saying a word nigga so mm. clearly no one cares about you mm. okay but what do you do? Oh, I need to be relevant. Let me go ahead and put this fucking guy down that spent a bunch of money on me, put it on the internet, and make him look crazy. Why no. do you focus on the money part? Dude was being super weird. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. You're so focused on the money part. Buddy had a tattoo of her face on his thigh. I'm sorry, that sounds crazy to me. Okay, you just it's not about the money, it's everything else. The guy has a tattoo of his, her face on his tie. He barely knows her. Yeah, I like how you just glossing over that and you're worried about the money. Well, fuck the money, bro. The guy's insane. You would get, listen, if the roles were reversed and a woman got a tattoo of a man and they just met, I guarantee you Fresh and Fit will be calling, telling that man to stay away from her, uh, uh, you know, get a restraining order, all that type of shit, because it is indeed a crazy thing to do. But then when it's the other way around, you just excusing behavior of someone who clearly needs help, which you acknowledge, you acknowledge that he needs help, and yet you're not, you're still putting the blame on a woman. It's like, why? Why, bro? The guy, listen. You're you're forgetting all the other part. He was he was sending all these love bomb text messages, and then when she didn't reciprocate, he got mad and tried to say I wouldn't tolerate this, and then apologized and dumped her with more love bomb stuff. And then when that didn't work, he sent her the photo of the tattoo on him, her face on his thigh. When that didn't work, he promised to send her a ten bitcoins which is worth about 400k like the guy sounds like he needs help he's jumping from one thing to one thing to try to try to grab her attention he's not getting the hit that she's not looking for that yeah i will put that on blast somebody getting a tattoo of my face on their thigh dog and then they randomly bump into you at a hotel somewhere Y'all are not thinking. This is crazy. How they just disregard the the how people other people think of their own safety. You're not the only one that matter here, bro. Oh, you played yourself, you dumb whore. Wow. You made yourself look fucking crazy, crazy because you're the one on OnlyFans accepting money from weirdo niggas like him. Okay? You would not be in this situation with weirdo guys coming after you and sending you texts and following you at the mall or whatever the fuck because you can tell in that picture that she's very uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? If you didn't put yourself in a position of being a sex worker. Wow. Wow. So it's her fault. It's her fault she gets stalked. She gets stalked by a guy for just, first of all, why did OnlyFans as a platform allow that to happen? Because if something happened to Ruby Rose, I can see OnlyFans getting sued. Why would OnlyFans even allow that? How, how did he get her information or know where she was going to be? So you even acknowledge in that photo, she looks uncomfortable, meaning she probably didn't expect the nigga to be there. But he showed up. 
If he's want to show up at a hotel where she's at, where else is he willing to show up to? So I'd put him on blast. That's a crazy thing to do. A guy that just meets you on OnlyFans and professes his love for you, and and, and then he has a tattoo on his of your face on his thigh, and he's randomly bumping into you, randomly bumping into you. Come on. This is psychopathic. I'm about to die type shit. You, 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 you ain't no sympathy for this nonsense. Take care of your life, please. I don't I don't care what these red pillars are saying. Take care of your life. It sounds ridiculous, bro. The guy needs help. He, he sounds like the guy who, who will probably delete somebody if he doesn't get some uh, attention. He's like that, bro. But but no accountability for the guy. Let's blame the woman. It's her fault because she's a, a, a whatever you want to call her. This is crazy, bro. I honestly, I don't know if I can endure this chat. I, I'm, I'm being real with y'all. This is crazy, dog. Like, I can't believe that this is the take that they're taking. And he thinks he's winning with this take right now. So the lesson here today, um, we've seen the text messages. We've seen the pictures, the tattoos. We've seen the Twitter posts. I think uh, for most guys here, uh, obviously, this is not you. This will probably never be you, hopefully. Um, That's but you can see audience. here how if you do these things, you may get exposed. And the problem with this is that, like, in any matter of fact, if you're giving somebody money that doesn't care about you, obviously, they don't care about you enough to say, hey, you know what? I don't respect I won't post this because, eh, I care about them. But since they don't care about their fans, like how you think they do, they're going to finesse you, expose you, exploit you. And luckily for him, um, she's putting it out there. So maybe he could stop. But who knows? Maybe he has a mental problem where he can't stop. I would just say, Ruby Rose, man, if, if you're about this lifestyle, which I know you are, and you want to be this clout demon, as, as you say, like, this makes it look really bad, like Myron said. Um, and right. it's going to encourage other girls to do the same thing. And as a, as a byfactor of that, look at, look at our TikTok. You dumbasses. That's how I know y'all don't understand women. She's posting that because other women already on game. They know this guy's a weirdo, and they're probably telling her to be careful. They're not stupid. So y'all say, oh, Ruby Rose, this is an L for you and all these women. No. Yeah, that this is what they do. They will share your name in a group if they think you're a weirdo. So they make sure other women know. And other women who find out, they say, oh, hey, he sent me money too. He was being a little weirdo to me. Look at that, right? That's that's how that works. It's called collective being alert. <laughs> that's what it is. We we know our surroundings, bro. Okay, especially if the dude can find you, right? Yo, you want to put that stuff out there. I don't, I don't get why all of this is all just Ruby Rose faults for some reason, bro. Like, we're not going to, hey, where's this guy's family at? He's got all this money, but no real family around him to tell him he's doing wrong. Really? Where, where's his family at? Where's his brothers? Where's his dad? Where's his mother? Where's where's anyone that cares about this little shit stain? We don't know. So y'all out here just bl This is pathetic, bro. Many girls post it to get boosted in the algorithm. It made men look bad, all this stuff. And it's, it's just sad, man. I mean... How do we combat this? How do we ever like get over this this issue? But simps will always be there, always. Yeah, and and I and I really wanted to highlight for y'all, right? Like you guys can see here, right? Like the other girl, notice how that white girl jumped in, like, oh, he spent some money on me too. See, like th this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like to girls, it's a flex and it's funny for them to have dudes spend money on them that they don't reciprocate to. That's like not for it. girls having simps, they'll never admit this shit. Dark secret. Girls will never fucking admit this shit, but they love having simps. Yeah. They fucking love it. To them, they look at it like, oh, look at all these little boys that want me, but I'm not giving them no pussy. Like, Bro, there's a difference between a, st a simp and a straight up so stalker, bro. There's two big differences. A simple simp, a stalker is doing crazy shit like sending you freaking $60,000 in a month and getting their your face tattooed on your thigh. That's what a stalker would do. And then randomly bumping into you. That's different game, bro. Girls flex on that shit, man. Girls flex when they deny you sex. Girls flex when you sweat them. Girls flex when you spend money on them and they don't give you anything in return. Girls flex all this shit. Okay? They love it. Right? They sit there and they're like, oh, look, this guy hit me up, blah, blah, blah. Hell, y'all have seen it with us. They try to expose, look at this DM, he hit me up, blah, blah. These no, nigga, that was you. Stop. That was you. We got the, we got the, 
We got the receipts, bro. Stop it. You see how he's trying to casually slide his little fuck up in there? Like, is he even up? They did it to us. When it was like, oh, this is us. With receipts. No, 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 no. You tried to get another woman to smash just for her to get on your show. We, we, we saw it. We see you do it, bro. We saw it. We saw the whole thing. Stop lying. That's why you have this un... This is... This is weird sympathy for this weirdo over here because obviously you see yourself in this guy. Clearly you do. Like, stop lying. Like, they tried to do it to us. No, because you did it. That was your fault. That wasn't Anna's fault. That was your fault. You asked her to have sex with you in order to get on your show. You know what the fuck you were doing. Ass whores don't get it. That niggas are just trying to smash. Yeah. yeah but they we sit know. there and they let it validate their ego. Right, so they could feel better about themselves for making poor decisions and being a slut on the internet, and they're like, "Look at all these guys sweating me." That's what the, that that's literally how these girls are. <sighs> Let me ask you something, right? Mm -hmm. I want y'all niggas. To, I'm gonna ask y'all niggas. If you went to Brazil and just went there with a hundred thousand dollars, and you fucked a bunch of hookers, but you paid every single one a thousand dollars. Would 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 people respect that? Would like if you a matter of fact, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I see a bunch of passport bros getting in fights with Dominican women. All right, over money being too small. Yeah, that happened. I was even thinking about doing YouTube shorts on that because there was, there was literally a video of black dudes, right? And this again, black men, especially some of y'all being passport bros. Let me let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something because this shit is starting to become embarrassing. Okay, if you're having issues here. Chances are, it's not oftentimes the women. It's you and the shitty-ass behaviors. A lot of these dudes, we're seeing them taking overseas, right? Like in this video, this dude literally... He was arguing with two, uh, I think it was two Colombian women. I said, I said to Dominican earlier, they were Colombian women, right? And he was arguing back and forth because he wanted to have sex with them. And they said that the money he had was too low. The money he had was too low, right? And he got mad and he was like, get out of my hotel. Get out, get out. And the one thing I found interesting about the whole thing is I'm like, first of all, bro, you're in Colombia. Second of all, bro, pay attention to how this woman isn't even scared that you're right in her face screaming at her. Okay? You're a grown-ass man screaming in her face, and she's completely confident. That is a problem, my guy, because that means she's used to that, and they're probably Sicarios waiting for your asses downstairs right now. You just don't know it, okay? You in a whole different country. You probably you you're sitting there yelling at females and whatnot because you know, the price is too high for you to fuck. We can't take these negative attitudes to these countries, bro, and then blame women for being a problem. We need help. All right, and it's oftentimes we're the ones causing and creating these behaviors, bro. Okay, but I'm gonna react to that video. I'm actually gonna do it now because that, that shit was hilarious. It's like, yo, even a girl in Colombia saying you ain't even got the bread to fuck her, bro. Like, that's crazy. You you flew all the way out there and you don't even have the paper to do it, dog. That's insane. That's insane, bro. If you went back and bragged about it, would anyone really take you seriously? No. Nope. Mo. Nope. No. Bills. No. You uh, you know. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what it is when these dumbass hoes say, look at how you think it's sweating me. That's the equivalent to a guy going down to Brazil with 100K, banging a bunch of hookers, then coming back to the States like, bro, I dropped 100,000. I smashed a bunch of hookers. Look at me. We don't laugh at that nigga. Are you stupid? What the fuck? You're dumb. Like, bro, yeah, what the fuck? Because it takes no skill. It takes no skill, so it's not respected. Same exact situation with these dumbass whores. If you are somewhat attractive and you post yourself on the internet and you're able to scale and put yourself out there and a bunch of niggas are sweating you, congratulations, you dumb slut. Dudes are always going to hit on you. That's not a skill. But here's the real skill. Can you keep the fucking guy that you actually want back? The answer is a profound no for nope. a lot of you sluts. That's why you're on fucking Twitter talking shit about, look at him, he spent money on my fucking OnlyFans. But you're a but you got an OnlyFans, but you're lonely at the end of the day. You're a lonely fan. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, these dumbass sluts, man. They're, that's the reality. But they sit there and they will flex dudes spending money on them. That's why I tell you guys, stop watching porn. Stop subscribing to OnlyFans. Stop giving girls attention and money that don't fucking reciprocate and don't give you any love and attention back. Fuck these whores. What's wrong with y'all niggas? Stop giving them money 
time and attention if they're not giving you what shut up bro why what are you talking about bro what do you what do you even say chat i found a video i found a video by the way chat chat i found a video hold up this, this is the video i'm talking about hold up this, this is the video i'm talking about right here this this dude over here is screaming at this colombian chick bro here, here it is right here. Y'all think I'm playing. Like, these passport bros are becoming embarrassment to societies, dog. Can I make this bigger? What, what's happening to the screen, dog? Hold up. No, no, it's good. Oh, okay, that's bigger. All right, hold up. Watch this shit, bro. Chat, watch this. Look at this, you, bro, bro, look at this. You're screaming in her face and she got no, she's like squaring up with you. Bro, she knows something you don't. You're in her country. This is Cartagena, right? Bro, <laughs> y'all pass, bro, dudes, bro. You need to stop. Hey, yo, look at him. Look how confident she is. Bro, look at this. Look at Look at this. Embarrassment. Bro, he's a password bros in Cartagena. Chica drama. He says he told her to get out of here. A part of it because like because uh, people who spoke Spanish in the um the uh uh in the chat they were like, yo, the women were saying that he ain't got enough money. Like, look at this. Like, it's just embarrassing, bro. Like, y'all, y'all niggas out here, y'all need to stop. This, this is this is embarrassing. It really is. Like y'all out here traveling, oh yeah, the women are so much better. But we know why y'all going over there. We know exactly why you're there. No, it, the, 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 you look at the whole thing. The women, she has no problem in your face. She ain't scared. You sitting there screaming like you a tough guy. Black man in Cartagena. I'm probably saying that name wrong too, by the way. <laughs> but still, right? But she's confident. She probably got Sicarios downstairs waiting for your ass, bro. They're probably going to drug your ass before they, they took everything, bro. Before you know it, there are dudes walking up your building right now with guns. Sitting there screaming at these women like that. This ain't even your country. Y'all going out there to these other countries treating it like it's the Western country. It's not. A lot of these countries are not the West, bro. You're used to your privilege too goddamn much. A lot of you coming to these other countries, they're not playing these games, especially these women. If they got, if they got no problem getting in your face like that, you out there screaming out the top of your lungs. There's a problem. That means they know something you don't. I will be terrified. That's why your bro was trying to calm you down. Your bro was trying to calm you down the whole time. I'm like, yo, yo, chill. <laughs> hey, just relax. We don't want to do this right now, bro. We don't want to go to jail. All right? We, we don't want to do this. <laughs> no, you don't want to die. That, that's what it was. That's what he's really worried about. We don't know who's going to be banging down that door, robbing your ass by force, bro. Stop playing these games when you go in these other countries, dog. You get these hookers or whatever it is, fine. Because y'all want to claim y'all getting these women and they, they they love you for you. We know y'all out here paying for sex. Stop lying. But if you're going to do that, you want to make sure you're not putting yourself in danger because these women know something you don't. Like, this is how a black man can get locked up in a foreign prison or worse, killed. All because they didn't want to pay the right amount. Y'all passport bros, man, are weird, bro. Let's, let's get back to the video. Uh, well, Don Shanti for the two dollars super chat says, "Uh, news from Tom Fullery. He's asking for a collaboration. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with uh, Tom. Yeah, shout out to Tom. Uh, Don says, uh, Duke, Tom is showing Satan Center and Adam Twenty Two. Saint Saint the Center is on Adam Twenty Two. Since when? What What are they doing? What are they, What are they talking about? Last I thought, it what's the Saint the Center doing stuff with Rolo? What What's going on? We, we got. We might have to cover that. I gotta see what uh, Sus Marquardt's going on. <laughs> He's probably planning something. I gotta figure out what's happening here. Lay with the two dollars super chat says Jerron Dunn, Black Red Pill, arrested for pedo. Oh, oh shit! Who is that? Jerron Dunn. We got. We have to look that up. 
What is he? Red pill pervert arrested. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's that one sheriff, bro. Oh no. Oh no, it's this guy. Oh, this guy. I seen him around. Oh no, you you screwed. Yeah, he got your ass. He's a substitute teacher. Hold up, chat. We might have to take a detour. Hold up, chat. Hold up, time out. <laughs> we get it. We gotta take a detour right now, chat. Hold up. This is hold up. Hold up, chat. I gotta see what's going on. What's happening here? Jerron Dunn. That's right. He's 33 years of age and a substitute teacher. Not a real full-time teacher, a substitute. And he was at New Beginnings High School in Lakeland. And he was grooming two students, a 17-year-old girl and an 18-year-old girl. Oh, my God, bro. 18-year-old, that's an adult. 17-year-old, bro, you're fucking crazy, dog. This is when these guys say they want virgins, bro. This is what this is my biggest fear. And he's a teacher. Now, the 17 year old girl asked for her phone to be charged, and he plugged it into a charger in the classroom and then put his Snapchat on her phone. Oh, you a weirdo. <laughs> you a weirdo, dog. And started hitting on her with like gross pictures of him masturbating. She's 17 and a student under his, you know, direction. Then he was also hitting on an 18 year old. He said, Hey, I can be a friend with benefits. And he was sending those same kinds of videos to the Bro, if the 18 year old is under your care and you're a teacher, yeah, bro, that, that, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Even even if because that's when they talk about that power dynamic shit, it, it's kind of it, it kind of makes sense there, bro. Because you are their teacher, bro. So if it's in the same school, if the if the adult is still in school with the seventeen year old and whatnot, that's a problem. I'm assuming I thought the eighteen they're out of out of school and everything, but like you out here grooming. For, oh, bro, you a weirdo. You're a fucking weirdo, bro. The eighteen year old. Well, we locked him up in jail. Did a press release yesterday. There's been a lot of interest. You want to hear more about it? Here the dude is. He's in jail. The investigation's ongoing. I anticipate there may very well be additional charges. That's what our detectives are checking into. Our school teachers here are the most awesome people in the world. And we're not going to let somebody like this substitute teacher who's supposed to be teaching and looking out for the best interests of children to sexually and aggressively try to engage them in inappropriate conduct. Bro, this is weird. A lot of these, see, you got to watch these red pillars, bro. You got to watch these red pillars, man. Uh, some of these guys are undercover weirdos. They're undercover weirdos, bro. That's crazy. Dude is grooming kids at his school. What a What a weirdo what you want man i want all you guys are watching this podcast right now you're probably sitting here watching it with maybe a girl that maybe your girlfriend or some shit or maybe you got a girl that you're trying to fucking get with or whatever i want you to seriously assess in your mind every single girl that you're talking to right now or you're dealing with is she giving you what you want intimacy romance and sex or is it or is she bullshitting you if she's bullshitting you i want you to block her now I want you to get rid of her now. If you're hanging out with her right now as we speak and she still haven't hasn't given you sex, <laughs> I'm talking to you, bitch. Get the it's fuck out the what? house. You better suck this nigga's dick right now what? after the show's done. Because this shit is starting to get ridiculous. I gotta start telling these hoes for you niggas to stop fucking so you can stop sipping and giving these hoes free attention. This shit is starting to get ridiculous. There's nothing that pisses me off more. We know. Than looking at a guy, especially a guy that's earned a lot of money, built himself up, got himself to a point. Because this guy clearly did something right. He could be giving that money to Myron right now. It's in crypto at the right time. Probably made a couple mills, uh, a couple million. He's a smart guy to some degree. He was able to make that money. Idiots don't make that kind of money, right? But then you got this talentless skank. Damn. Putting him all over the internet, embarrassing him, 
right? Some of you guys here make money, successful, working on your grind, got some dumbass bimbo stringing you along, and you're sitting there thinking, oh, man, I'm just going to get the box. No, fuck that shit. If you're with a chick right now or talking to a chick, whatever, she's not giving you what you want, you have my permission. Kick that bitch to the curb. Time out. <laughs> Whoa, time out. Why would they need your Why would they need your permission, bro? You're not their daddy. Why, why would they? Hey, dad, uh, can I get your permission to leave her? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting the love I thought I deserved from her. What What do you need? They need your permission to kick her out. What? First of all, your ideas are terrible. You don't know what everybody else's relationships is like. So why are you trying to judge it, bro? Like, I was like just look at how he's talking. The vitriol, bro. Tell me this guy doesn't hate women. Tell me he doesn't hate women. This guy hates women, bro. Like, come on, dog. You know how they try to call us haters for criticizing them? Chat, I think we can legitimately call them women haters, bro. There's no way. Like, even if you have something against Ruby Rose, you saying all these things about her, slut, skank, whatever it is, bro. Like, he's doing this on purpose. Like, what, what do you hope to get from this? Let's just be real. What are you hoping to get from all of this? I, I don't get it, dog. Like, Don, shout out to you for the uh, $2 super chat. It says, Saint the Center made a collab with Rolo this week. Yeah, we saw that. I, I, I watched a little bit of that, and I was bored as fuck, bro. I really was. I'm like, this is so boring. Like, again, you got Rolo ranting on. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm going to have to, maybe I didn't, because I didn't watch all of it. I watched like 10 minutes. I'm like, uh, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. This is I want to claw my eyes out, bro. These guys are boring as fuck. So again, I don't know what what's going. On. I think Saint the Center is desperate to make moves. He has to. He run out of friends. He's got no friends. He make fun of everybody he collabs with. He's got no friends, bro. So why not just collab with guys like fucking what do we call Rolo Tomasi? He's got nothing else going on. He, he's trying to build a whole new crew. Why not? It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense, right? Uh, Don, shout out to you again for the $2 Super Chat. Let's get a dub in the chat for Don. Don says, uh, Trollo threw MLD on the bus. When? Was it recently or before? Okay, we might have to cover this. <laughs> Was it on that episode with Sus Marquardt? We might have to cover this. because that, that, I thought they were part of Rule Zero. I thought they were best buddies. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Right, I thought they were part of Rule Zero Squad. Damn, already? Wow, it didn't take that long. Uh, so we knew these matters for bozos were gonna tear each other apart sooner or later. Go find another girl. Turn her Goku into transmission into some other bitch that's gonna like you. Because I'm telling you guys, yeah, there's a girl out there for you somewhere. Get your value up. Get your money up. Get in the gym. And trust me, you will be able to find a girl. But stop giving attention and resources to hoes that don't respect you. If they don't reciprocate. You will not sit there and re give them shit back. Fuck that. They got to reciprocate, man. Half these girls aren't giving y'all shit, and you guys are over here, oh, let me simp, let me give them money, let me give them time, They're let me give them attention, podcast, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Fuck these hoes, man. Deal with girls that like you back only, bro. Reciprocation is key. Reciprocation is key. Repeat after me. Reciprocation is key. If she doesn't reciprocate, it's time to evacuate. All right. <laughs> if she does not reciprocate, it's time to evacuate. Okay. <laughs> All you niggas watching right now, we got thirteen thousand y'all in here between Rumble and YouTube. If she does not reciprocate, you will evacuate. Take <laughs> these bitches oh, no. to. I'm done. No, 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 no. What is this? Oh, so y'all got some slogan going on. If she don't reciprocate, we must evacuate. Come on, guys, let's go. If she don't reciprocate, we must evacuate. That's right. We we insults deserve more. <laughs> What do we say? She don't reciprocate. We must evacuate. Hey, shut up, bro. What, what is this? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all niggas? Huh? Those are some grown ass men. If she don't reciprocate, we must evacuate. <laughs> 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 My boy got the anthem running. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> if we don't reciprocate, we must evacuate. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, hey chat, chat, chat. Imagine just a, a wall of men marching down DC, right? Downtown Washington, DC. All right, they got signs up. If we don't, if, if you don't reciprocate, we must evacuate. <laughs> Oh my God! Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. I can't believe this dweeb just said that, bro. You're a dweeb, dog. Like, oh, my God. They're coming up with their own slogans. Or we know. So it's very, we must evacuate. Wait, well, what are you watching for? We evacuate for the bedroom because we should not reciprocate for what we want. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are lame. This is lame, bro. This is some lame Red Bull shit right here. I don't, like, <laughs> how do y'all take these dudes seriously, bro? <laughs> you can't take these guys seriously. But there are men who do this. And here's the thing. We got to break down what they said earlier, okay? Because, I, I, again, we, we got we to gotta call a spade a spade here, okay? They're sitting here, you know, again, laying blame at the feet of everybody else. And it's like, yo, again, you are forgetting, Myron, that the main consumers of OnlyFans content are your audience. You yourself even admitted that. Your audience are the odd, perfect audience for Ruby Rose. So you sitting there going on this rant, it seems like you're you almost like you know that your audience are going to be the ones likely engaging in these types of behaviors. So I just find it so pathetic, bro. Realistically, you're sitting here knowing fully well that your audience support overwhelmingly only fans with me because you built your platform like that. And you're out here lecturing these same men on how they need to move around when it comes to women. They need to be all treated like whores. And you know what? If they don't give you what you want, you got to, you got to evacuate. If they don't reciprocate, you got to evacuate. <laughs> We don't reciprocate. You must evacuate. A bunch of men going on strike from relationships they don't have. Stop it. Like, stop. This is this nonsense has gone too far. I can't. I'm not standing for this no more. I will not be. Listen, I'm sorry, Chad. I think I've reached my limit. I'm like, I'm just giving a suit chat right now. I've reached my limit, bro. I can feel the back of my head just dropping, bro. Like, and, like that migraine is growing right now. I can't believe I just heard that bullshit. If you, if she don't reciprocate, you must evacuate. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, bro. You sound retarded. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, I wouldn't be surprised, dude, if a lot of these dudes start marching. Yeah. It's <laughs> just holding them picket fire signs, right? They got they got women with uh, pictures of uh, uh, symbols of vaginas, right? They got that symbol of vagina right there. And just marching with a little crossed out with it. If she don't reciprocate, we must evacuate. Y'all don't have the option to evacuate, to be honest with you, bro. I mean, listen, look at this. Dude. The dude that y'all are even preaching about right now that spent $60,000 on a woman couldn't even evacuate from the situation because she wasn't giving him an attention. What did he do? He decided to apologize after saying, I will not tolerate it. Clearly, he was incapable of evacuating the situation. So what the hell are you going to be teaching these boys? Like, this is crazy. Like, uh, these weirdo slogans and shit, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do this bro um Don, shout out to you for the file super chat. Don says RP have been have been claiming that Melina was hypergamous by leaving Lesney. LOL. She left him for a loser, which is not a symptom of pergamy. That's what I've been saying. Listen, listen, that's the next episode's coming out. We, we gotta do that. We gotta cover the Destiny one. Um, because Destiny even did a um a video explaining that too as well, right? Explaining the full thing. So that's the next episode. Because again, remember I told you before, a lot of these repellers think it was a win. I told you Destiny is open relationship was not gonna work. It's like, yo. Bruh, bruh, time out. Okay, what that if 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 destiny situation worked out in your favor, it just means you were wrong, right? It means you were wrong because she didn't leave destiny for a higher value man. The guy was is what you would call a leech, a bum, a nobody, right? To to compare the destiny and the standards, he's not even there, bro. Buddy doesn't have a channel. Buddy doesn't have millions of dollars. Matter of fact, Buddy is mentally unstable yet. He was able to take her away from destiny, at least emotionally speaking, right? So again, I think it was part of uh, a little bit of manipulation too. I mean, the guy was threatening to harm himself, so that, that was weird. Um, but a lot of these repellers are just looking at the surface value of it, saying, "Oh no, yeah, yeah. see her, per see Rolo was right. Uh, all these repellers were right. This validates us. It absolutely validates us, right? It's like no, bro, because now you have to explain why she left them for a brokey." Right now, y'all have been preaching high value all this while, but yeah, it turns out that a woman can just leave you for a guy who doesn't have high value. It's almost like women are unpredictable. <laughs> it's almost like it looks like I'm, no matter how much you guys can come out and try to predict hypergamy and reproductive cycles, you'll never really understand people. Like, because we're humans, we just do random shit that makes sense to us. It doesn't have to be logical. Sometimes it often isn't logical. 
but we do it anyway. So that's why I laugh about how pathetic you guys get when you're trying to, oh, sit there and talk about, oh, yeah, women, they, this, they, you got to get them at this when they're 25. And when they hit 30, they hit the wall. And all these different things, your attributes are putting that that doesn't exist. Like, bro, like, if you're spending your time being a high-value man, guaranteed you'll get left by somebody who ain't a poor boy. You and she will leave you for a poor boy, bro. It just is what it is. You just don't know. What you can do is worry about being a good person and being a good husband or being a good boyfriend or lover. That's it. And just as long as you're doing you, your conscience will be clear. And then when it's time to move the fuck on, you'll be able to move the fuck on. Conscious clear. Move through. But y'all are sitting there just trying to analyze and do it. It's just so weird. Yeah, a lot of these guys think they have a win. I'm telling y'all, it's not a win, bro. M dot with the ten dollar super chat. Let's get them W's for M dot in the super chat right now, bro. M dot says, "Could Myron be at, ma could masking his regret and and uh, as anger because F and F can't get someone like Ruby Rose on to attract heavy spending sims to their platform? I won't be surprised because he directed that he directed that that like vitriol to her. He's like, if you're watching this Ruby Rose, you're a bitch. So I think he's trying to get her triggered on purpose so she could say, oh, you know, because, you know, uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, someone like uh, Ruby Rose has a massive ego and she's probably going to be like, oh, my God, how dare he? And then, you know, feed into what Myron wants. So that could be a strategy. We don't know. That actually could be a strategy that Myron could be using. I just think it makes him look bad at the end of the day because look how he's talking. Look, at he's got a dirty ass mouth, bro. Just sitting here, just talking, like there's all this mess. Oh, you whore, this, brother. It's like, bro, what, you, you kiss your mother with that mouth, huh? You tell your mother you love her with that mouth, the same mouth you're sitting here lambasting other women with. Shame on you, bro. Like, but yeah, I won't be surprised if he's doing that on purpose. But then again, I think his hatred comes from something deeper. I think he is, he's actually envious of women, uh, possibly because you know they share the same OnlyFans audience. Think about it. They, they share the same OnlyFans audience. So if Ruby West can get $60,000 in a, in a month, I mean, Fresh Fish is demonetized right now. They could use $60,000. Just being real. <laughs> Just being real. Don with the $2 super chat. Don says, the unfiltered pod says Myron's a bitch. I, I don't think we need an unfiltered pod to tell us what we can see. Myron's a bitch, bro. This is a this was a complete bitch made a uh, 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 a rant that he went to, went on, and it was just sad because he exposed himself. Chat, all he did was expose himself during this rant. That's all we saw, just self-exposing right here, right? Lay with the two dollars super chat says, Auntie Jenny exposed King Rich's girlfriend sent you the video. All right, perfect. I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be in there. Yo, Auntie Jenny was was Auntie Jenny thirst trapping on YouTube, saying belly dancing and shit. <laughs> Why do I gotta think about that? Why I gotta think about that shit, bro? <laughs> she was out there thirst trapping. Somebody get your grandma. A uh, Jenna G with the twenty five dollars. If just says he's calling for them hoes, but these women are getting money, and not giving up the box. Facts. Facts. Again, I think part of it, Janet, is pure anger. It has to be pure anger, bro. Like, these guys have to be jealous, right? It doesn't make any sense. He's, he's calling them hoes, this, and she didn't have to fuck him. Matter of fact, she's uncomfortable around him. The fact that she's a hoe, apparently, to Myron's uh, standards is because she didn't, she didn't reciprocate the same affection he was giving her. Why? He already gave her $60,000. What else does she need to do? Like, well, like, what else does she need to do, Myron? Huh? He already came out up front giving her 60K. You don't respect that. No one is respecting that. Just being real. But instead of Myron calling that out, he's not going to call that out. Yo, Ken with the $5 super chat says, bro, I didn't get anyone in the right mind listens to these clowns. Hello, keep doing your thing, brother. Yo, shout out to you, King. I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This guy has a mother. Look how he's talking to women. You got to look at all women as whores now. Is that is that the new strategy? Or is that what we're doing now? I mean, it's just so cringe, bro. It really is. Oh, down with the five dollars super chat. It says Richard Cooper, MLDS issue. Trollo, MLD has a bad rep for the RP. Messed up because MLD stood up for Trollo when Anthony Johnson and Beef came up. Yeah. Are you surprised though these guys are turned on each other? Really? Don, are you surprised? You've been here how long, bro? You know the red pill by now. These guys, their loyalty goes as, as deep as their fucking nail polish. They don't, they don't, they don't have loyalty, bro. They just pretend to for the clout. They will turn on you like that. That that's what they. It's funny how they put that shit on us. Say, oh yeah, these re, these reaction channels, they're so fake. Oh my god, right? And then turn around, they'll be the ones talking shit about you the moment they think you slip up or you're not beneficial to the brand. 
I'm not surprised. We don't have to cover what's going on with Trollo, bro. It's been a while since we covered Roll Tomasi. Listen, it's just because Roll. Listen, I would rather drag my nuts through two miles of broken glass than sit and listen to Roll Tomasi for two minutes. I'm sorry, dude. Is that boring? I would rather claw the eyes out, my eyeballs out. I would gouge it selfie, okay, without having to sit there and listen to Roll. But listen, if I have to do a Roll video. Y'all really got to come out and sponsor the show because I'm sorry. That is that is a tall order for me to complete. I, I could barely endure Myron. I, I don't know if I can do more Rolo, bro. I, he's just so boring. Like, Rolo's so boring, bro. I, like, his, it just makes me think his fans are a bunch of psychos. Who sits there and listens to this boring guy talk all day and complain about women in ice pergamy cycles? Like, it, it's just so weird, bro. Yo, lay with the two dollars with Jess says threatening suicide. Hunter Avalon girlfriend. Yeah. Yo, Hunter Avalon got some shit. He got some issues going on, right? Uh, was he the one that uh, – he had that interview – what was that that, that got him uh at least got him on my radar? I forgot the interview he did. Um, but yeah, he yeah, he apparently he went through a controversy where somebody what, what happened? Somebody came in and shot his girl or something like that. Like what, what like what the hell was that? Like yo, <laughs> yo, YouTube man, y'all gotta lay off the sauce, bro. <laughs> y'all taking this shit way too seriously, bro. Like it's just too freaking much. Y'all would do it way too much, but chat. Listen, bro, this is what I got for you all today. We got more of this stuff coming up because apparently we're going to be exposing some uh, uh, red pullers. They think they have some W's this week. So uh, do not hesitate to uh, uh, be in town for this because it's going to be crazy. All right. We, we got a we got bunch more cons to cover because apparently, you know, this whole Destiny thing is taking off right now. And everyone's trying to talk, figure out what's going on. These red pullers have the absolutely wrong idea on what's going on. It's not a W. It's a loss. And honestly, this Destiny situation should prove to you that your red pill ideology has been a lie from the get-go okay average people win not high value people just say it but chat that's what i got for you today those you guys who are here for the show i appreciate you being here show's over um yeah don't forget to sponsor the show uh but i appreciate you being here i'll catch you on the next one but for my ones and two army okay what are we what are we doing here we we, we have to be honest about this because we got to talk okay i'm i'm 100 convinced that myron's gay and he absolutely hates women because he's partially in the closet. Um, that might that's my reasoning. Uh, but that's not the question, though. <laughs> Listen, do you think Myron actually hates women? Okay, put a one, put a two if you think Duke, come on, Duke. Okay, you're taking the video out of context. Okay, he doesn't hate women, he's just upset that you know Ruby Rose exposed that guy, really. And he wasn't definitely projecting any deep-seated insecurities, Duke. You're projecting, Duke. Okay, okay, put a two in the chat. Put a one if you think this guy definitely hates women, and it's probably something deeper than what we're, we can analyze right now. Put a one. Put a two if you believe. Yeah, you know what, Duke? A little foul fetch, okay? He, he, Ruby Rose, what he did, what she did to that man, exposing him like that. After all, he the money he spent on her, Duke. Come on. I think Myron is absolutely justified. You let me know what you think, Chad. I appreciate you being here. Like I said before, you could be here. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you chose to spend time with Duke the Dad. I mean, we've been here for almost three hours, and you did that. I appreciate it. My forever gratitude, and I will catch you guys on the next one. But before we do that, I got to let you guys know this. But ass. <laughs> <laughs> it just never gets old.